Hurricane Irma was a Category 5 hurricane that lasted from late August until mid-September in 2017, with hurricane winds of up to 180 miles per hour. Irma devastated several areas, including the eastern United States, Puerto Rico, Cuba, the Bahamas, the Caribbean Islands. Caught on tape and published by Tom Steers on September 15, 2017, the clip shows a downpour of rain and heavy winds over a swimming pool, assumedly on the coast of one of the affected areas. A man in black swimming trunks launches out into the wind and rain with a GoPro in his hand to hop into the hotel swimming pool. The water in the pool is heaving, not to the degree of the Nepali earthquake, but enough to where you certainly wouldn't want to test nature at its angriest. Did he have a <laughs> in his hand? Yeah. No, he had a GoPro in his hand. Oh, oh yeah. God! I wish I could zoom this in. Well, I can a little bit. But... After a quick dip, however, the man pops back out unharmed. Another thrill seeker who could have wound up injured or worse from his thrill seeking. These fishermen were casting into the ocean waters of Palm Beach, Florida when a massive potential megalodon shark comes straight at their boat. The gigantic shark is easily the same size as their entire boat and could flip them if only it knew how. The sea creature faces them head on and gives the fishermen a great view of its goliath physique as they have a tense standoff. Then it quickly snatches up the bait and retreats back to the depths below. It's hard to make out a lot of detail because there is somewhat of a glare, but I have little doubt that this video is real. Let me know if you have any idea as to what kind of shark this could possibly be. Have you ever woken up to the feeling that you're being watched? Posted to Twitter by San Bernardino PD in April of 2022, this brazen home intruder was captured on camera standing over the home's residence. While they slapped, a wise camera in the residence bedroom caught the thief lurking over them, creepily watching them. It looks as though the thief knows there's a security camera there. As he covers his face with a piece of cloth, he watches the residents sleeping. After watching the sleeping residents, he starts looking around for valuables. While many of these videos don't often have a satisfactory conclusion, this one does. The San Bernardino Police Department writes in the comments, Due to outstanding police work from our officers and investigators, the suspect was identified and arrested. Thankfully, he won't be hovering over anyone else as they sleep anytime soon. I was looking for more information about this security cam video because it's really creepy. It is said to be taken from a lab experiment in Russia. The test subject lies in bed and begins to shake like something has gone seriously wrong. Nobody comes to help them and the camera continues to silently record. After a while, the test subject begins to levitate in the air and the video ends shortly afterwards. This almost has to be special effects and some people say that they could have seen this from a movie while others swear it was real. It looks pretty real to me, but if you've seen this from any Hollywood production, then let us know. This video comes from a YouTuber named Mike Robbins and his team of paranormal investigators. They are using a modified Kinect camera and special software to hunt ghosts while wandering around the basement of an old abandoned asylum when suddenly their equipment detects a major hit. Can you come back and talk to us? Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Mike asks the ghost for its name, how long it's lived here, if it likes living here, and other questions but gets no response. The spirit does not seem to want to cooperate. Oh, now he's waving. Thank you. Or right, maybe he's telling us to go. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell if the ghost is waving at them or shooing them away. If this is an insane asylum, then maybe this ghost just wants to be left alone. Then again, there's no real way to verify if the equipment really does work, so we'll never know for sure. 
While camping out at this haunted castle, a rustling is heard in the forest, published by Exploring with Fighters. This YouTuber is exploring the abandoned ruins of Liverpool Castle. Being hundreds of years old, these castle ruins are bound to be haunted, and they're about to give the explorer a taste of fear. As he tries to sleep, his dog is alerted to a rustling sound outside their tent. What's she doing at Goose Impressions? She started doing a goose impressions because there's a weird noise coming towards us. <sighs> Noting that an owl has kept him up all night, the explorer was wide awake already, and even more so when the mysterious noise seems to be coming toward them. An owl has kept me awake most of the night. While the suspense builds, nothing reveals itself, leaving us to wonder what was lurking outside the explorer's tent. Was it man or beast? Or something else? Have you ever seen something out of place reflected in the window? Posted to the haunted subreddit by Please Recycle Those, this redditor did, and he is wondering what these are. The redditor explains in the comments that his dog heard a sound downstairs, so he followed the dog down with the camera rolling. As he is panning across a dining room area, when he captures his own reflection in the window, panning past, something strange is reflected behind the cameraman in the window reflection. The Redditor is wondering if it's an arm. Some in the comments say it could be a ponytail, but the Redditor has short hair. Others think it's a fast-moving ghost or something leaving the scene. What do you think it is? Whatever it might be, it'll knock your socks off. While well, some orbs do indeed appear like nothing but floating dust, others act more strangely. Published to YouTube by Ryan Blake in April 2020, he writes, Caught this on our night vision camera at about 4 a.m. This is a very used basement and there really isn't any dust down there, since my wife and I keep it very clean. Don't know what to make of it, really." The series of videos shows orbs on several occasions sweeping past the camera. The first one flies from the upper left corner down to the bottom right, the second up the right side of the screen, the third briefly appears after the YouTuber shuts the door at the end of the hallway to go to bed and the fourth flies up to the right and then back down again, returning to the bottom left corner. Is this a case of bugs, dust, or other explainable events? Or could this be a spirit channeling these homeowners, attempting to be made known? If only we could ask the orbs what their motive is. There's nothing scarier than a ghost who's out of his mind. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Random Doge 47 explains, went to the Hartwood Insane Asylum in the UK and captured something. The mysterious video shows the creepy remains of the asylum, aged with decay. All of the windows are broken out, leaving gaping empty black holes, except for one window. Someone is standing in the top left window of the asylum, an asylum that's locked up tight. Oh my I need to go. I get that in video. I'll just get that in video. The Redditor writes that the lower windows are too high to climb into, and the upper floors are collapsed. So what is this figure? And how did it manage to get in? And if the floor really is collapsed, is it just hovering there? Some in the comments think it's an owl. Others think it's a person experiencing homelessness. But most agree that it's something from which to flee. With Key Razmataz1572 writing, Feet don't fail me now. Agreed. Time to hoof it out of there. Baby monitors sometimes capture that which we don't even know is there. This creepy clip was posted to r slash ghosts by zealous ideal call 53. It shows a monitor placed in a child's bedroom. The baby is playing while her guardian appears to be on her phone. All is normal until you turn up the sound. A growl of a voice snarls help me three times in a row at the beginning of the video. Neither the baby nor the young woman in the video appears to hear the voice.
Is it crossed wires with a nearby baby monitor? Did someone hack the monitor's sound? Or is it an EVP capturing someone beyond crying out for help? The Redditor explains in the comments that this isn't the only strange occurrence in their house and that paranormal events have regularly been happening since she was pregnant. The Redditor writes, We've had another incident with her nanny cam and seeing a black shadow near her, an orb, and her suddenly waking up screaming. I've had issues in my own room with the feeling of someone watching watching me, breathing on my neck, severe night terrors, and missing items that suddenly return. Does this give more credence to the presence of a paranormal entity? My answer is yes. Megan uploaded an odd doorbell cam video to her TikTok account. The video says 1029 on a Friday, but she actually saw this stranger running past her home at 515 that same morning. The phantom image is a little more than a glowing pair of eyes and a barely visible body that weaves in and out of focus. The blurry figure doesn't even make it past her front yard before it disappears entirely. When paused here, it looks like a person leaning forward as they run. One leg is on the ground and one hand is in the air. The question is whether or not this was a glitch, which I don't think it was, because everything else in the scene looks completely normal. A YouTuber named The Bearded Biologist created a wildlife channel to help people become more appreciative of nature and not be frightened. Let's see how he himself keeps from getting scared when having an encounter that would frighten 99% of most people, no matter how brave they think they are. Barely visible to the untrained eye and easily mistaken as a piece of driftwood is something that would have people screaming and freaking out, but not him. The biologist spots it and wisely turns the other way at six seconds. The curious snake makes no similar efforts to avoid him. The biologist seems to keep it distanced and distracted by his paddle, but it's not over yet. The fearless snake follows him for another 10 seconds and then lets him go. I, like you, most likely thought this was definitely a chase, but he says this was not a chase so much as curiosity on the snake's behalf. What he means by this is that it could be much faster and easily catch up to him if it wanted to. He's just being politely escorted out of its territory, which is a characteristic of the cottonmouth snake, aka the water moccasin. Some people say this is a harmless water snake, but he says it's not and I can back him up on that one. Not that he needs my help because he already has two degrees in this field. This write-up from the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department says water moccasins are the only snakes that float with their head above the water. They are also venomous and are responsible for 7% of all snake bites in Texas every year. So even though I applaud the bearded biologist and applaud him for trying to make me less afraid of nature, I ended up doing research because of him and freaking myself out twice as bad. Knowing that this venomous snake is showing him mercy to me is just another way of saying he's at the mercy of a big snake. Sometimes the more you know, the more terrifying things get. A four-year-old is happily drinking his juice until for some reason the straw stops working. His protective parents get a bad feeling and curiously inspect the package to see what's wrong. And this is what it's inside. Nasty. A thick green clump of sludge clings to the bottom and blocks the straw. Slowly, they realize their child has been unknowingly sucking on what could be a giant floating piece of moldy gel. As if that wasn't bad enough, the father flips it over with a straw to reveal an even worse looking underside. Ew. Oh my god. Again. Look at that. The alien looking growth is probably loaded with bacteria and far from safe to consume. 
So if you've ever been enjoying a packaged drink and the straw stopped working, I guess you now know a reason why. An unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as a UAP, was captured at Dreamland in Dripping Springs, Texas, and shared by Redditor my Brian on Acid. Recording the alien spaceship? Yeah, me too. It's like not moving at all. The uploader says another source reported on this same sighting. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. The post the Redditor is referring to was captured by someone walking their dog who believed the UAP to be a planet, but once they looked at it through their binoculars, they noticed a dark center and a haze around the object. In the comments, Redditor Cronin Siglos appeared to crack the code, writing that it's a high-altitude balloon called an HBAL-604. After seeing one of these, I have to agree. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away, it's not moving at all. I'm being followed. <laughs> Have you ever got the feeling that you were being followed? What if it were true? A YouTuber published this video of his experience being stalked in Japan in February of 2011. In the video, he explains that when he turned on his camera, this female stalker became interested in what he was up to, so she started following him. Despite his rather roundabout route, which he was using to try and lose her, you can see the woman over his shoulder, dressed all in black in a long coat with very pale skin. To make matters scarier, it's raining. The gloominess results in heightened fear. So what is this woman doing? Why is she following some random stranger in the street? Some even speculated that this man was in serious danger. Whoever she is, I'd get out of there, and fast. A gut feeling, a sensation is almost worse than the reality itself. Say you're alone in the forest, the hair stands up on the back of your neck, you get the sensation that something is watching you. What do you do? Druid Raven Scout published this video in August of 2015, explaining this very scenario. Well, he packed up his bags to leave the forest. He said he felt something that he couldn't explain, a gut feeling that something or someone was following him. He said he felt threatening sensations as he walked the path over a couple of hours. He had planned on staying in the forest another night, but his intuition was telling him not to. During the 18-minute video, he explains that he feels like he's being observed. He also says he heard something strange up in the trees as he walked the path earlier. He does manage to escape the forest without meeting his stalker, but not without shaking the feeling that something certainly was watching. Jan Flink heads to a crumbling cluster of haunted cabins in his home country of Finland. His flashlight cuts out six times as soon as he reaches the back of the first cabin. He is still holding it though, so maybe he is doing it himself. Up in the attic, he finds this strange setup, a single bowl on a makeshift sleeping area made of thin wood. Only one shoe is never a good sign. He goes outside and his flashlight starts messing up some more, but look behind him right before it does. Um, should I just say bye? Um, or see you again in next video. Bye. A woman in red with long black hair is looking at him. It wouldn't be too hard to fake this, and the fact that nothing happens for 44 minutes until the very end of this video makes me suspicious, but Jan Flink claims that this is the spirit of a woman who had a bad encounter with a bear in 1964 and passed away. It's been years since the video was posted, and as far as I've been able to research, he never said it was fake. As we've seen in past videos, animals often see things that we don't, and sometimes that can send 
chills down our spine. Published YouTube in January of 2018 by the Bram Fam, the video starts out tame as the Bram Fam picks up a doghouse from the store. They each go about their day doing various things for the vlog, but once Bram T is home with her daughter, she starts hearing things inside the house. The uploader notes that their dog Milo started acting super spooked, staring in the hallway and outside their balcony. As you can see, the dog appears on high alert, unmoving and staring out into the darkness. He is then captured staring out into the hallway. When Louie finally returns home, Bramty says she finally felt relieved. Do you think this dog was sensing something or someone in the home? Should they, as Bramty suggested, have the house blessed? That way it'd hopefully be cleansed. Jeff Kessler is camping in the middle of nowhere, all by himself when a low rumbling noise jolts him awake. It's coming from just outside his tent. He bravely investigates the perimeter of his campsite, armed with only a flashlight. After some searching, he finally comes across the creature that woke him up a few minutes earlier. It appears to be an oddly shaped humanoid creature with broad hips and shoulders, but skinny limbs and a narrow head. Jeff only briefly catches it on camera before turning to run. Apparently, park rangers found his camera under this heavy and mysterious structure of bundled trees, but no signs of Jeff himself. I could find no news articles to verify this story as real, so it could just be an art project. Then again, or maybe it was even a cover-up. Let me know what you think. A YouTuber named C. Codane is with a group of friends who are ready to explore an old creepy tunnel. They keep running out because they think they see something inside, but nothing shows up on camera until their fourth and final attempt. First, they hear it before they see it. It sounds a lot like the other rake videos in my opinion, but let me know what you hear. Oh, They remain at the mouth of the tunnel while the creature slowly walks towards them, making those sounds all the while. They clearly get the creature on video once and for all, but not without risking their lives first. What? The shrieking monster is all grey and stands upright like a human. It's hard to say whether this was their friend or an actual sewer mutant. Their reactions of excitement and disbelief sound real, at least compared to most other videos, so I'm inclined to believe this was an actual creature they spotted at random. What happens when the music stops? Published by Yoon Sai Won in May of 2021, this ghost hunter was in such fear for his life that he left all his gear behind. Upon entering this abandoned school, Yoon Sai Won first encounters a haunting sound coming from downstairs. He goes in search of it and seems to at last find it, but there's no one there. Later, he thinks something is stalking him. And his EMF meter starts going crazy. He sets up some motion detectors, which are also triggered. After a while, even the creepy music box near the exit starts chiming in. He starts to think many spirits are gathering in the room as all the devices start to go off at once. Fearing for his life, he flees, screaming all the way. <laughs> then he gathers enough courage to go back. The music box is still chiming all the way down the spooky hallway. <laughs> when
When he arrives back at the room, he's peering inside when something is thrown from another direction. <laughs> it seems his return made the congregated spirits angry. South Korean ghost hunter Yang Mahi is exploring an old abandoned haunted house for evidence of the paranormal. What he's caught on tape is up for debate, so let's get right to it. Tell me if you hear a footstep after he finishes his sentence. <laughs> All of the rooms look completely ripped apart and yet nothing has been taken. Drawers and shelves are overturned but clothing and personal items remain largely untouched. It looks like the work of poltergeist activity to me, not thieves. A particularly angry poltergeist at that. But perhaps the scariest part of all is this EVP of a man's voice that completely overlaps his own when he touches the old owner's shoe. That does not sound like a house settling or anything like that. It's definitely vocal cords. The ghostly voice of someone who is with us in spirit alone. Final analysis? Yeah, this video is about as paranormal as it gets. After experiencing paranormal activity in her home, Beth Ann Thorson bought some Nest cameras. Then she captured these strange flashes, which she shared on Facebook. The flashes are seen again in a second video. Some in the comments suggest they could be flashing in Morse code, but after checking with a military friend of the family, the couple nixed that theory. Beth Ann also checked her phone's providers, potential faults, and updates, but nothing explains why the flashing occurred, and it's particularly alarming that it happened on each phone individually. Many in the comments believe the spirits are trying to communicate with them. Others think they're just letting them know they're there. Well, my first thought is that it could be an Amber Alert, which which would impact all phones in the area. I agree that it may be some form of communication from the beyond through the phone's energy. Whatever it is, it's highly unsettling. Redditor asserted skirted motion-activated cameras detected motion in the middle of the night, but it isn't something I've ever seen before. Keep an eye on the bottom of the garage door. Here it is again, more slowly. Something appears to slip beneath the garage door, but it looks like a shadow. My guess would be that this is an unknown shadow entity. The way the shadow reaches out is even tentacle-like. What do you think it is? If you have any doubt about the existence of poltergeists, this pair of videos will help put them to rest. The first was published by Tommy Wells in June of 2011. Filmed in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, it turns out this poltergeist is not so pleasant. The first clip shows little Christina's birthday party. After singing happy birthday, blowing out the candles, and starting to cut the cake, suddenly the faucet turns on full blast by itself. Did you like the set you got for your birthday? Oh my god, Tommy, it's gonna start again. The family is afraid that it is going to start again and mess things up for everybody, but they're not sure exactly how it's going to happen. One of the adults shut off the faucet as another corralled the kids toward another room. Then things do start again. Pots and pans are projectiled from an upper cupboard while the drawers open and close aggressively. One comes completely off its hinges and falls on the floor. Oh, 
as if that weren't enough to convince you. In a second clip posted in November of 2013 by Bill Gursky, the owner says that things keep moving around the house. As he's talking about eating a pomegranate, the bowl he sets out on the counter has moved. He continues stepping away from the counter and over his shoulder, the bull falls completely off the counter and onto the floor. I'm kind of losing it here. I'm Holy sh Security cameras around his home also show doors opening and closing on their own, a cushion falling off a piano bench, sheet music flying off the piano stand, sheet by sheet, and again the closet door opening and closing. Now do you believe? Trevor Dealey didn't show up for work and his co-workers are worried. He never misses work no matter what. When he misses another day, they call the Dublin police. Detectives check cameras. Trevor is a redhead over six feet tall, hard to miss. The year is 2000, so they don't have many CCTV systems, but they have enough. This is what they find. His co-workers were with him at an office party at a bar called Copperface Jacks. They moved the party to a nightclub called Buck Whaley's and Trevor Dealey stays there until close. It's about 3.30 a.m. at this point and Trevor has already said goodbye to all of his co-workers. He will see them tomorrow. Trevor doesn't go home from there. He's in a good mood so despite the wind and rain, he goes back to his place of work, a bank that's open 24-7, to grab an umbrella and to talk to some co-workers. Outside of the bank is someone else who doesn't mind the bad weather, a man dressed in all black. They cross paths at 3.34 in the morning. This man has been here since 3.05, simply standing around a bank in the middle of the night for about half an hour. He waits 8 seconds and then follows Trevor to a side gate. There they talk for 10 seconds. The stranger is as tall as Trevor and looks stronger. Trevor unlocks the gate. The man waits for at least a minute as Trevor talks to some people inside. He doesn't mention the man dressed in black, so he must not have felt in any danger or else he would have no doubt asked for help. About half an hour later is when Trevor comes out with an umbrella. He unlocks the gate and heads home. The man dressed in black appears. Five minutes later, Trevor leaves his best friend a voicemail. Hi Glenn, I've missed you there. Just on my way home, all going good. I'll talk to you tomorrow. It was the last words anyone would hear from him. Trevor is on Haddington Road except something looks wrong. He's in quite a hurry. 22 seconds passed and someone speed walks behind him, a person wearing all black, and that's where the trail ends. None of the other surveillance cameras show Trevor again. He was definitely moving fast in the last video. He could have been running because the rain got worse, but I'm fairly sure he was being stalked. Police were able to verify that the man dressed in black behind him was the same person who was at the bank. Standing outside of a bank for a half hour at night is shady to begin with, but then waiting for a half hour for someone to come out and following them for another 15 minutes home is all the circumstantial evidence detectives needed to determine Trevor had his life taken. They were never able to learn who the man dressed in black was. The disappearance remains an unsolved mystery 20 years later. Later. Not even a 100,000 euro reward in recent years has been enough to make anyone step forward. With that said, the case was reopened in 2016. The video is uploaded by the National Police Force of Ireland and needs more attention. I would like to make the surveillance video go viral in hopes that someone has the answer. He probably lost his life, but we can't rule out being taken captive. Maybe we can help find him and give his remaining family closure. Arachnophobes beware. This video is straight out of Ron Weasley's Nightmares, published by Exotic Slayer in October of 2018. Footage of this spider will remind you why so many people fear them. The Goliath Bird Eater is the world's largest spider by mass and size. Goliath calls South America home, and its leg span is second only to the giant huntsman spider. Goliath is called a bird eater for a reason. A copper engraving, made by Maria Sibylla Marion in the 18th century depicts the giant spider chowing down on a hummingbird. But don't worry, birds aren't often the spider's prey. Rather, he prefers worms, amphibians, insects, and other arachnopods. Although Goliath has been known to eat things as large as rodents, lizards, and snakes, 
Imagine running into this spider in your jungle lair. It's what nightmares are made of. Connor Biddle and India Hopwood are a ghost hunting team who travels to different haunted locations in search of paranormal encounters, which coincidentally is the name of their channel on YouTube. Born in Indiana, Connor released a full-length paranormal documentary in 2012 and has never stopped investigating. His partner, India, moved to South Carolina from England and has been visiting haunted locations since she was 10 and began heading investigations as a teenager. They have nearly two decades of combined experience dealing with the afterlife between them and a lot of interesting evidence to share. This time they find themselves in Withville, Virginia to explore the infamous Octagon Mansion. I am in the Octagon Mansion alone. The only thing I can see is what's on this night vision camera. Built in 1870, the Octagon Mansion, or the Roundhouse as some call it, has a relatively unexplained haunted history. Many families lived here over its 100 plus year history, and it was also a few different businesses for a while, none of which lasted for some reason. The town itself once experienced a viral outbreak that took over 100 lives, and this may have tainted with Phil with many restless spirits. With that said, it should come as no surprise that a little host girl is said to be on the second second floor, especially considering the outbreak targeted kids. As Connor is exploring the first floor, his camera goes out of focus a second before he senses something nearby. There's nothing to make it go out of focus, and yet the background changes as if someone is standing right in front of him. Is there anybody here? And it stays blurry like this for 11 full seconds before snapping back into focus for no reason at all. And this noise happens a few seconds after coming into focus, almost like an invisible left the shot and went into a different room. The soft knocking is repeated again when he leaves a doll out for the girl to play with and pay attention to the exact location of the doll because that's going to matter in just a second. But for now, it sounds like the girl might be coming downstairs to give the toy a closer look. So the doll is positioned in front of the furthest right window here at 2 minutes and 27 seconds, but at 4 minutes and 45 seconds, it's now by the far left window with its arms raised to its mouth like it's afraid. Now Connor says he isn't sure if the doll moved, or if it was just the camera angle. I think it definitely moved, but the fact that he doesn't rush to take credit makes me respect his work that much more. On a different night, Connor and India think they record a spirit named Nina. Does this sound like a person or electronic interference? I respect that India is able to keep composure. My reaction was more like Connor's. She must have really seen a lot as a ghost hunter for this not to bother her. Anyway, this sounds like a scream of pure agony in my opinion. There's not any hatred in the voice, just pain. Perhaps a final scream from the girl upstairs. And if you didn't think the last sound was human, this one definitely is a woman's cry. India is able to translate quite easily. I believe it really does say hey here, like she says. Hey, it's not hey again. And the reason I believe it is because the ghost says hey again. As for physical sightings, this is the best piece of evidence Connor has to offer. It's all real. Every bit of it. This 2012 video, taken in Bourbon, Indiana, in the attic of an old pizza place that used to be an apartment building, highlights a strange anomaly hovering against the wall. It doesn't look like the beam of a flashlight because, aside from not being round, there's no ray of light connecting it to a source. And when the white outline moves off the wall, it does not change size or shape like a flashlight would, instead staying completely the same as it traverses the darkness. A YouTube channel called The Real revealed goes to Sanjay Van, one of the most haunted woods in all of India. To top it off, they decide to wait until 3 a.m. before ghost hunting. I'm not so sure about the supposed first encounter though. They say this is the sound of a spirit, but I think it's just the cameraman breathing. <sighs> 
ऊपर की तरफ ऊपर की तरफ देखा हूँ मैं एक बार The next voice, however, sounds much different, and I agree, could be paranormal. It sounds distant, almost like a radio, but they're in the middle of nowhere and wouldn't get reception out here. Translate what is being said by them if you can. I may not know what they're saying, but I do see this light appear as soon as this strange voice is heard. It's probably a bug, but if it's not, then this is a coincidence worth mentioning. The voice trails off a short while later, and they aren't able to hear it again or find the source. I think they probably really did make contact with the supernatural, but I will reserve my final verdict until after someone is able to translate this video. Mysterious rare creatures walk this earth, and most of us will never get a chance to see them. Until now. Shared by YouTuber Satpam Horror, this creature is known as a parakang in Indonesian. And this is what it sounds like. If this isn't some expert makeup, then I am 100% terrified. The sound coming from this creature also makes my skin crawl. Its glowing eyes and small sharp teeth look demonic. One thing's for sure, I would never search for this creature. On their last walk of the day, Redditor Gadin420 and his dog heard something chilling in the woods. Listen closely. Let's hear it again. Many in the comments think it's a fox, others think it's a vixen, which according to one redditor, sounds like someone having their life ended. After listening to recordings of fox screams, I'd have to agree, that is what a fox says. A YouTuber named More Bad Ideas is riding his bike late at night. He normally would never go out at this odd hour, but he just got home from vacation, and he just can't wait until the morning breaks to ride again. It's a decision that he will soon regret. He's popping wheelies down empty streets and old parking lots when he comes across a random golf ball sticking out from a sewer grate. He's amused and throws it around for a bit. It lands in some grass next to something much weirder a camcorder laying in a wet plastic bag. The camera still has a memory card and some battery life, so he curiously presses play. Yo, what the f is this? Dude, are you serious right now? Yo, is that a f knife would blow. In case you couldn't see the screen clearly, the video shows a woman tied to a chair whimpering suddenly. A car puts its high beams on and floors it towards him. He hops on his bike and narrowly gets away. He sees the person chasing him one more time, a short while later, and then he barely escapes again. This scary doorbell video is from the Chills Narrator subreddit, and it was posted by Tay Harley Quinn. They say their camera has never acted weird before, but for some reason this mysterious shadow figure, transparent and paranormal, is traveling at a high rate of speed behind a truck at random. Some people say this is a person on a bike, while others say it's somebody running, but most agree that this video is paranormal from the looks of it. A small number of people say that this is a glitch, but fail to go into much explanation, even though I would like to hear more. Until then, I think this could be a real ghost sighting caught on home security camera. A YouTube channel called Barb's Buzzin takes a chance buying a fish off the dark web. Whoever sent this blacked out the bags so we can't see what's inside. Anything could be in there. Maybe even something dangerous. Or maybe it's just sensitive to light? At first, it looks like nothing is there. But then they almost pour the slimy mystery pet onto the floor by accident. Get it done quick. There's no fish in here. There's no fish. 
there's nothing in this. What the f they aren't sure if it's even alive until they see a tiny circular object moving in the center. They think this could be a shark egg, but I just want to be sure, so take a look and let me know what you think this bizarre gift could be. Absolutely insane. Look at his head right there. He's, le he's legit That's swimming cool around. I definitely see a striped tail at the very end, so maybe it is a shark and not something super nefarious after all. On this supernatural search, Alan from Procura Sobra Natural investigates a house in which no one has been able to live. Anyone who tries is driven out by paranormal activity. During a previous investigation, he captured a spirit at this door. This is the spirit. Still, he enters the house and inside he hears strange noises. To me, it sounds like something dripping. He breaks out the EMF meter in another room and again hears something. He also finds graffiti that warns not to enter. Although he didn't run into anything too spooky this time, I get a real creeped out feeling from this place and I think he should probably heed this warning. There must be a reason why no one lives here. According to NASA, the Apollo 20 spaceship never left the ground due to a lack of funding. This leaked video, however, says otherwise. Apparently, the mission was covered up after this strange structure was found on the surface of the moon. The leaked video is now referenced to as a moon base. Look closely and you'll see what appears to be an entrance ramp leading directly into the structure itself. It almost looks like some kind of vehicle is halfway up. Let me know if you see the supposed entrance and if you think that there is any possibility that this leaked video could be real. I think it is kind of a stretch but I do see what they are talking about. Despite its name, the doll room in the historic Jefferson Hotel is a sinister place, and this video shared by the hotel's YouTube channel confirms this. Listen closely. And some more uh, dolls to our doll room. That particular doll is over 100 years old. As you can see, the manager hears a noise down the hallway, and as soon as he turns to look, one of the dolls falls down in the room. Listen again. He enters to see what happens. Another little video tour that I do when we add some more items to the rooms or whatever. So, we added some more dolls to this room, which is our dolls and stuff room. And as I walked in the room, I heard a noise going down the hall right there. He replaces the doll, but it doesn't get any less creepy. To me, it looks like it's watching him. A UFO appears to burn in midair as it stalls directly over Area 51 in front of plenty of witnesses. I think this video is probably CGI because the smoke almost looks like it could be a looping animation. But if anything like this were to ever happen on Earth, Area 51 is where it would most likely take place, so I'm not entirely discounting the legitimacy of this video. Paranormal investigator Tim Morozov has experienced his fair share of demon encounters over the years, but this is probably one of the most terrifying. What you're about to see is a demon trying to take Tim's soul. First, the demon shows its disdain for knock-knock jokes. Then it confronts him.
It then speaks to him. This demon clearly wants him gone, and Tim finally heeds his warning. I think it's very smart of him to have gotten out when he did, considering this demon's level of aggression. I always find his videos compelling, but this one especially has me on edge. It's not often you see two trains so close on the same track, occurring near Smith Falls in Ontario, Canada in 1992. The footage shows a passenger train that needed to hit the emergency brakes while en route to Toronto. The passenger train appears to be traveling at a fairly fast speed when a stationary freight train comes into view down the track. As the commuter has little time to slow, the engineer stumbles out of the locomotive cab. In the meantime, the freighter backs up slowly while the commuter train has managed to break hard enough to come to a complete stop right in the nick of time. The approach left no more than six feet between the locomotives, a close call that makes little to no sense as to why or how it happened. It's 3 a.m. when this home security camera catches something weird on video. At 5 seconds, you can see strands of a spider web, but that's not what I'm talking about. 6 seconds later, a bug breaks free of the web. It looks normal in flight, and only when it lands on the doorbell camera does it look kind of humanoid, like it might not be a bug after all. Tell me if you can see a vaguely human outline here at 13 seconds, or if you think this 3am sighting is nothing more than an overactive imagination. Humans have always made computers computers, but on a website called thispersondoesnotexist.com, it's now the other way around. It uses a sophisticated computer algorithm to create realistic photos of people who were never actually born. Looking into the eyes of a photorealistic person who doesn't exist is strange enough, but get this, sometimes the computer messes up, and this is the result. In this first glitch, a fictional man's entire lower jaw is replaced with a solid chunk of bad data. It looks like he is screaming into the abyss, and the surprised, hollow look in his eyes just makes it even worse. And when the computer really gets things wrong, it creates this horrifying humanoid sidekick with a jack-o'-lantern grin and, oddly enough, glasses under pale green eyes that do not even fully surround the iris. The glasses don't have a nose piece because, well, the creature does not have a nose. A YouTuber named Tanner Shelton is trying to clear his mind by making a TikTok video at the mall when he accidentally records a phantom figure that disappears after a brief but horrible horrifying moment. Hey guys, so I decided to just get out of the house today. I think it's probably good for me to keep my mind off of things. And just she has long black hair over her eyes and a white outfit, and the way she is rooted in place hardly looks like an ordinary shopper going about their day. He admittedly does give her ample time to go back around the corner, so this could have been planned. Soft rain falls in the desert and sends all sorts of creatures scurrying for cover, including this unwanted guest. Watch this part, and be sure to translate what they are saying here if you can understand. A giant upside-down scorpion makes its way across the top of his tent, towards the camera with its arms open, and pinchers extended. It looks highly aggressive and possibly poisonous, but any help identifying its exact classification and behavioral traits would be appreciated. What would you do if you saw this floating over your neighborhood? Shared by YouTuber EXTV, this video is trending in the Brazilian-speaking YouTube community. It looks like a scene straight out of Netflix's Stranger Things. In fact, it is.
but it's not what it seems. When I dug into its origins, I found the freaky floating figure featured on CBS Chicago's news channel. But how did they get her to float? The TikToker, at Horror Props, who's responsible for the epic Halloween display, just shared how they did it only days ago. It appears to be a wire connected to a telephone pole. Well, I gotta say, that is certainly a crafty way to pull off something like this. Nevertheless, if I saw this while walking down the street, I would still be terrified. Perhaps the film night at the museum wasn't too far off. This statue, located in England's Manchester Museum, appears to come to life. The ancient Egyptian statue dates back to around 1800 BC and perhaps is cursed by an ancient Egyptian spell. According to the museum's curator, Campbell Price, one day he noticed the 10-inch statue had turned entirely around. As reported by Manchester Evening News, Price said, I thought it was strange because it is in a case and I'm the only one who has a key. When Price moved it back to its original position, he found it had moved again the very next day. He decided the next step was to set up a time-lapse video, but the video raised more questions than it answered, as the statue was caught red-handed rotating counterclockwise on its own by increments that wouldn't appear visible to the human eye. This occurs only during the daytime. The statue is still at night. While an Egyptian spell isn't off the table, one British physicist thinks the movement can be explained by something called differential friction. Brian Cox says this friction is caused by the footsteps of museum goers whose vibration moves the statue during the day. Price, however, calls this into question as the statue has been housed at the museum since the early 20th century and it hasn't moved before. It also appears to be turning in a perfect circle and only up to 180 degrees so that it's facing backward. Even more interesting, on the rear of the statue is an inscription recorded requesting offerings of bread, oxen, and fowl. Perhaps this is the answer. The statue needs to be fed. Nine armed police officers in Seattle, Washington gear up and head to a home residence after receiving this urgent 911 call. Yeah, my name's uh, Flaming Bond and I have five hostages in my house at the moment. I have five grand and I'm gonna kill them all. They cover themselves on all sides and bang on the door, ready for someone to come out at any second. Instead, this person meekly answers. Hello, Seattle Police. Are you okay? Can you step out for just a second? Is anybody else inside? She says that she is alone and has no idea what is going on or why anyone would call 911 on her apartment. They question her for a little bit and determine she is in no danger. I have little doubt that this is yet another prank where people will report a false emergency at someone else's address in order to get a police response. This usually happens over pointless disagreements in video games, and now that I think about it, whoever called the police appears to have given a screen name at the beginning. Listen to this part and tell me if you can understand the gamer tag they give. Yeah, my name's uh, Flaming Bond. Uh, Flaming Bond. Paranormal investigator Rochelle G goes exploring this haunted abandoned house and experiences what she calls decades of anger. Built in 1920, this place could never keep a family for more than a few years before something terrible happened to them. Police were always involved. Something about this house makes people upset, volatile. The longer they stay here, the worse it gets. Rochelle can feel the paranormal energy as soon as she sets foot within this haunted place. Abandoned are the families, but not their memories or their presence. She finds a room that's creepier than the others, one that's been barricaded from the inside. Listen closely. What you're about to hear is one of the scariest EVPs ever caught on camera. Somebody has pushed a dresser under the knob of this door like they wanted to keep a family member from coming in to get them. When Rochelle opens the door, a creepy, disembodied voice floats in her ear and whispers, Hey. 
This room looks like a remodeled front porch that was only halfway finished before the family vacated. Above her is an unfinished attic space that makes many people feel creeped out. There's no way to get up there, so she keeps exploring this room and finds more creepy things caught on camera. Dozens of family photos next to an old blue chair. Leaving family photos is weird enough, but why in a giant unorganized pile? It looks like somebody thumbed through them one by one while sitting on the chair, perhaps looking at pictures of their family members one last time while waiting for the police to arrive. It's a creepy thought and we'll never know the real explanation. And when Rochelle tries to communicate, the spirits are too angry to cooperate. Do you need help? If this video is real, and I think it is, then this is one haunted abandoned house that should have stayed hidden. I doubt anything good happens to those who dare go exploring its hateful walls. Millions of people all around the world wake up in the middle of the night for a midnight snack, and that's exactly what happened in this YouTube video published by Paranormal Nightmares. The uploader says her husband went downstairs in the middle of the night to pour himself a bowl of cereal. So far are so good, but this seemingly ordinary trip to the kitchen at night quickly turns horrifying. Okay, so we start here. He just grabs, you know, cereal out of the cupboard and a bowl. And right there, I'm sure you saw it. The cereal box just moves completely on its own. And what I like about this video in terms of authenticity is that the cereal box is coming straight from the cupboard. There's no possibility that it could be a string causing this. And right there it goes. And he's clearly perplexed by this, a little almost nervous. And right there the cereal box goes again. Some commenters on this video have questioned why there's seemingly a security camera set up inside the kitchen of all places, but the uploader has not responded to this. Perhaps they have them set up in various places in case of things like this happening. Of course, this could also have been done with the use of a very small string. But as far as I can see, it doesn't look like anything is attached to the cereal box. Plus, the way the husband reacts to this box moving seems very genuine. His facial expressions seem quite confused and a little creeped out, especially towards the end of the clip. Who wouldn't be freaked out if they saw their cereal box moving by itself? This bizarre and giant sea creature was recorded by someone casually sipping their morning coffee in the English village of Tynemouth. It looks like it has the head of a dolphin until it dives underwater and shows an eel-like body. One thing I don't understand is why he quickly zooms out when the creature surfaces at exactly one minute. It could have been an accident, or it could have been to hide from us the fact that this is a rubber mat, like one person says in the comments. I'm no expert, but that does look more like a creature than a mat to me. What do you see? This video, posted by a man in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh, claims to be targeted by locals after converting to beliefs that's unpopular in the area. Men with their faces covered visit their house with a red canister filled with what I presume is gasoline and threaten to burn the place down. They seem genuinely ready to rip the door down and tear this family apart, especially when they pull out a huge blade and throw it at the door in a display of disgust. Here's the twist. According to a local news source in the area, the video is staged and was made by a family seeking asylum in America. Their anger is quite convincing and the family really does look scared, so I want your opinion on if you think this is a performance or really a family in distress. A local journalist is covering the wintry weather in Springfield, Massachusetts when a much more interesting story pops up behind her. 6.15 to 6.30, it has not let up at all. It is coming down pretty steadily here in Springfield. You can The creature looks slow and powerful as it lumbers towards them. Bad weather or not, I find it hard to believe that a monster would just walk around a busy town without some sort of immediate police response. 
It doesn't look like computer generated effects, so this was likely just a person in a costume. Basements are where hidden secrets are kept in the dark, old memories and keepsakes of things that are too scary for the surface and would get you some strange looks. Basements often serve as a place for troubled minds to explore the scariest facets of the human imagination. A YouTuber named Jonathan Wickholm goes exploring the basement of his girlfriend's apartment building because it's creepy and old and he suspects scary stuff is down there. He's not wrong. So James agreed, the moment you walk in this room, it's Creepy. It makes no sense. Over by James, there's a random stool and a microwave that is it plugged in? No. Okay, so it gets weirder. In the center of the room is a large cedar wood box. On the outside is a door that unlocks only from the outside. Sticking out the top of the mysterious nondescript box is a pipe for giving someone air, and when he opens it, this is what it is. It is a small room with chairs. It's nothing else. He finds a small hidden room where someone can be kept secret down here without anyone going down to find them for a long time. What was being kept down here? I fear I already know the answer. James, look at this. James, look at this. There's scratch marks. There are legit scratch marks. There are f***ing scratch marks. Drilled into the ceiling of the secret prison place are holes that look like they were put there for further ventilation. YouTuber Hidden Treasures recently moved into a new home. Little did he know what he'd find inside. He leads viewers down a hallway to a dark closet and behind a lower shelf, there's a panel. The YouTuber says that when he pulled it back, you can kind of see some stairs. Then he leads viewers into the room next door, where there's an adjacent closet. He recalls how he went in there to investigate where the stairs led, but there's just a regular closet in this room, three walls and a ceiling. He said he brushed it off and continued to unpack his house. He went to put some Christmas stuff in the attic. This is where it gets interesting, he said. Once he got up to the attic, he decided to investigate if those stairs led somewhere, and in fact, they did. They led to a secret room. After tearing a wall down, this YouTuber found a whole other room in the otherwise unfinished attic. This room had wallpaper, electricity, short ceilings, a closet area, a sliding door, and a mirror on the wall. He filmed the staircase from the other side, allowing viewers to see that whoever hid this room simply framed the wall in to block the staircase and access to the secret room. This is only a one-story house, he says. You can't tell from outside that this is up here. So the question is, why was this room hidden? What was the previous owner trying to keep secret? or who. You have probably heard that name, as La Llorona has become quite the legend, especially in Mexico and Latin America, where this video has been getting a ton of attention. This clip, which has been racking up millions of views, appears to be a forest cam video. You can see a figure slowly move across the forest with very slow movements. While many have claimed this is the infamous legend, the flickering effect of the video makes me question the authenticity of it. Nevertheless, even the slightest possibility of this video being real is enough to make it impossible to look away from. Jay Game has been having problems with a stalker lately who has been coming around his home dressed like a clown. He is pretty sure it is just some local high school students who watch his channel, but lately they've been growing bolder and now something new has pushed him to his absolute breaking point. I'm scared to be in my own house like that. That's a f***ing problem. This is Max. This is Max. One day, he returns home only to find a creepy letter inside of a tattered envelope with red stains all over. The outside says, we followed you home, and the inside says that they are going to come for him at 2 o'clock. Instead of calling the police, Jay Game decides to handle this problem himself. He keeps his camera rolling and waits at home all day for them to come over. Hours later, two loud bangs from outside send a jolt of adrenaline coursing through him. Instead of rushing out the door, he sneaks upstairs to get a better look at his adversary. 
He sees someone dressed like a clown with a scary mask and bright orange hair. The person doesn't look very large, maybe about the size of a high schooler, but it's the menacing posture combined with the baseball bat that keeps J-Game away. He waits a long time before going outside, where he finds the gate has been left wide open. It seems like they are gone for the time being, but who knows when they will be back again. Fishing in Space is the name of a YouTuber who once ordered numerous mystery boxes on eBay. The first one contains a small pouch full of unholy sticks and dirt, meant to be used in a demon summoning ritual. Just like st stuff like that. A bag of dirt that put under your pillow and say some Latin words and you get a demon. I personally have never heard of this before, and I would like to hear more about this ritual from anyone who has tried it. Anyway, Fishing in Space moves on to unbox a haunted doll named Marlene next, though he doesn't give any backstory as to why the doll is possessed. Instead, Fishing in Space ends the video and says that he will post an update at a later date. However, this was a long time ago and we haven't heard from him since. I think that he is probably fine, but at the same time, I do find it eerie that he uploads a video about a demon summoning ritual and a haunted doll, and then subsequently never updates his channel ever again. YouTuber Hey Charmaine began posting about her experiences in her home. As her story unfolds, so does a terrifying truth shared by YouTube channel The Grave Digger. The scary video shows how Charmaine's horror story escalated. It all started with this strange object she found. And, um, I got a pack of Pepperdine like 10 years ago, um, but it's modeled after the Bodhidharma, and I don't usually take it out. After setting up security cameras in her room, she captured things moving unexpectedly. A few days later, while the dog was sitting for her friend, this happened. Cooper, what are you staring at? Dude, there's nothing in the hallway. Later, she captured a figure watching her home in the darkness of night and then heard something inside. After deciding to go stay at her parents' house for a while, things escalated. Watch the doorway behind Charmaine. You have been really nice enough to like let me stay there and <laughs> What was that thing? I'm not sure what this figure is, but it seems to be related to the mysterious object that Charmaine found. With all these strange events unfolding, Charmaine has lasted a lot longer here than I would have. Caitlin McIntyre is making a video of her grandpa that she wants to remember for the rest of her life, which actually might be shorter than she thinks. It may seem like nothing bad could ever happen to them on such a perfectly sunny day, but to their immediate right is a sharp drop straight off a cliff. They hit a point where the curved road grows very narrow, just as the sun beats down on their car at the worst possible angle, turning the entire windshield into nothing but a blinding white glare. Grandpa does his best to stay on the road, but the sun is so intense that not even his oversized sunglasses can get the glare out of his eyes. They find some brief cover under the trees, and they can see that the road is too narrow to safely turn around. You can tell he doesn't want to keep going, but it's too late now and there is no other choice. He has to go back into the blinding sunlight and keep pushing forward just a little bit more until he can make this turn. Maybe there's this something up ahead. He only has a short distance to go before he can turn around, but he almost manages to drive completely off the cliff instead. It's starting to get a little worse. I can't even see. Where am I? <gasps> oh, my oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
Just to give you a better idea at how close they were to falling off, this is a brief glimpse of the side of the cliff. You can see he was still turning right and had to majorly correct the steering wheel to avoid tumbling below. Eventually, Caitlin gets out of the car and guides her grandfather to safety. You can still see that the sun is still totally in his eyes, and it's a small miracle they made it out of there alive. A crowd gathers to sing in front of a statue. After a while, her mouth begins to move as she mouths the words of the song with them. Over a hundred people agree that they can clearly see the statue blink and sing with joy. I would have liked to have seen this happen with a high resolution camera. Until then, I think that this was probably just video grain, creating the appearance of movement. What happens when you're on an extreme ghost hunt that goes horribly wrong? Published to YouTube in July of 2020, Simply Sereth can answer that question. He suggests using earphones to get the full effect of what happened to him and his crew when they got trapped in by unseen forces while exploring this bungalow. In the video, they wander through the dark abandoned house. It's raining outside which adds to the creepy ambiance inside the home with its empty windows and doors. Nearly straight away, they keep hearing noises that makes them jump and search around for the source. The home is nightmarish, with bats or birds swooping down from the ceiling every so often. At one point at 14 minutes 30 seconds, they hear footsteps above. At another point, there's a loud bang at the end of the hallway they're hovering in. While talking through the spirit box, they feel like something is at the end of the hallway again. They run for a moment, but then stall to talk again to the spirit box. They must have felt trapped like rats as they kept hearing noises on opposite ends of the hallway. But thankfully, they eventually escaped with their lives. But did something else come with them? Here's another video from the mysterious Menger Hotel. A woman is bored and giving a brief tour of her room when suddenly a paranormal presence makes itself known. Hello? Mike? She waits for a tense moment, hoping that her boyfriend Mike is playing a prank nearby. When nobody answers her, she bravely opens the door and looks into the other room. Here's what she finds. What? Nuh uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Something has dumped all of her possessions onto the floor in a quick fit of rage. While it's possible that she could have done this herself, it's also quite possible that this really was a paranormal encounter, especially when you consider that fires, missing things, and other strange happenings have become the norm over the years at this hotel, which was also built over the famous Alamo battle site. YouTuber Adam Mark explores this abandoned mansion. The owner passed away, leaving everything behind. After a while, the place became frozen in time. A little spiraling staircase. You can see the decay on the walls, all the paint peel. Carpet's quite trodden in. Bit grimy. See all the marks up the walls, which lets me think it has been abandoned a while. The cupboards are full of items that no one will ever read. But everything is just completely full. Everything's left behind in this one. Old video camera there, look. <laughs> Very strange. Adam breaks out the K2 and gets some readings in certain parts of the house. All right, so we're getting little bits. There we go, here we go. Summit down here. Look at this. Oh my God. Guys. Look at this. Using another paranormal device, Adam is directly warned by the spirits. Are you the spirit that passed away here? <gasps> Listen to that exactly where I thought it would go, by the guitar. <laughs> and then he sees something unexplainable. Did you just show your hand around that wall?
Guys, this is so weird. I uh, one million percent have just seen it. It was like a hand reaching around that wall there. Are Adam's eyes playing tricks on him? I don't think so. This one looks like a real gut punch of fear. Considering this along with all of the spirit communications, I feel that the residents are here after all. Number 15. Stalkers. Welcome to the inner workings of a broken down mental hospital. Recorded live to Facebook by Hammy TV. This creepy video takes you on a tour through the extreme ward of Medfield State Hospital, developed over the turn of the 20th century. The 58 building complex held a max of 2,200 patients and was a filming location for such films as Shutter Island and The Box. According to Wikipedia, trespassing between dark and sunrise is strictly forbidden, so these boys aren't exactly following the law. One especially creepy fact about this asylum is that it has 841 grave sites, all of which are numbered instead of named. In fact, Boy Scouts in the area made it their Eagle Scout Service Project to find the correct names of all buried and their dates of passings. If that wasn't creepy enough, watch what happens during this tour of evil. The crew is heading to the third floor, where there were allegedly a few passings. As they're trying to decide how to get up the very broken stairs, the camera pans the upper floor. Keep your eye on the hallway. A shadow person very clearly crosses the threshold, a shadow that apparently the crew didn't see in reality, as they have no reaction to it whatsoever. I'm sure when they watched this video in playback, they did. I'm not sure if anyone noticed until it was pointed out in the Facebook comments, but now that it's been spotted, I think this paranormal sighting is terrifying. This gin has a sense of humor. Published by Hassan Barbar in May of 2022, the paranormal explorer is in this abandoned place when a gin alerts him to his presence, yet he does not appear. As the unseen makes more noise, Bismillah. Hassan follows the sound, then the thing starts to laugh. Or is this a laugh? The noise continues, leading him around this empty maze. Soon it sounds like it's breaking something apart, and then that unnerving laughter again. Where is it coming from? The jinn speaks to him, but what does he want? We may never know. A YouTube channel called Mysterious Oklahoma received this video from a subscriber who claims to have kept seeing something out of the corner of their eye in one spot of their house, so they set up a camera to record. What they capture is a fast-moving creature they refer to only as the Thing, which apparently moves so fast the camera has trouble keeping up. When you pause on it, you can see a very small figure that looks to be slightly lower resolution than the rest of the video, so it might not be real. Elton Mene Severo posted this video in January of 2006 of an unexpected visitor while playing with his webcam. This dude is being watched by an otherworldly creature from his doorway, unbeknownst to him. You can see the outline of the figure lurking and lurching creepily in the hallway before it vanishes into the darkness. When this guy finally notices the figure in his webcam, he gets up to investigate and he's never seen or heard from again. I made that last part up. I have no idea what this investigation turned up, but I do know one thing. I sure wouldn't want to run into whatever that thing was in the darkness.
A person thinks they see something strange, dash in front of their car late at night on a dark road. A playback of the tape has their suspicions confirmed by a totally bizarre dash cam encounter caught on video. A fleeting figure standing under a street lamp runs out and disappears way too fast to be a human. He claims this video is unexplainable paranormal evidence, but I suspect it might simply be a trick of the light, not exactly a lens flare per se, because there is no sunlight to reflect, or maybe that is the right term, but you know what I mean. Basically a ray of light bending towards him to create the illusion of a phantom ghost. So while there is definitely a light anomaly, I'm not exactly sure it's paranormal. Tell me what you think he's caught on tape, because it might be a reflection and nothing more. A flying ghost has been caught on home CCTV video claims a man in India who uploaded this bizarre late night sighting. A pure white object briefly pokes out of the woods. The supposed ghost video is low resolution and could be almost anything from a flashlight to wildlife. It looks weird, but I'm not exactly convinced he didn't just throw something himself. The Haunted Greystone Manor YouTube team Paranormal of Watertown POW experienced some strong poltergeist activity. They asked the spirit to play a game. Hi. Yeah, I'm recording. Come on, come on. Oh. You want to play some pool? And later, the REM pod goes off like mad. Can you stop touching that for a minute? Thank you. It even seems to be listening to them. As they're using other devices, the spirit pushes a ball on the floor. Oh, that just spiked again. Oh, that ball. thank you. This is just a taste of the activity the team captured at Greystone Manor. It certainly seems like a haunted location to me. I don't know about you, but I'm tuning in for more. A little girl named Taylor, 7 years old, runs up to the doorbell cam after school. Not out of excitement, but rather sheer fear. No, please come open the door. Um, there's a ball cat. I want to come in. You can tell by the fear in her voice and the crease in her brow that Taylor is not making this up. Unfortunately, the neighbor is not home yet and Taylor has to wait a stressful minute until the car pulls up, worried she's going to encounter this wild cat the whole time. The car pulls up just before she really starts to cry. I'm really glad she's alright, but I worry the bobcat will return one day, if it's still lurking in the area. Have you heard of spontaneous combustion? That's one theory about what's happening here. Published in May of 2022, Hassan Barbar is investigating this creepy abandoned structure at night. He turns away for a moment to look into this mysterious empty room without any floorboards. When he turns back, a bag on the floor has caught fire somehow. He watches as the flame smolders and continues to grow. <laughs> It burns the bag away until there's little left, but ash by the time Hassan puts it out with a ceramic plank. Now the question is, who or what started the fire? I have a feeling Hassan is not alone in this abandoned building. A Twitch streamer named Jake is visiting another country and enjoying the downtown nightlife. It's getting really late and he's about to turn in when two girls he's never seen before walk up with huge smiles and start dancing with him. They're acting like they've known Jake for a long time while this guy in grey lurks in the background. Jake doesn't mind the attention at first, but he grows progressively more confused until one of them speaks in English so as not to alert the man nearby. This is behind you. There's a man. I saw it. She needs 
you can see he's staring really hard at the women with a serious expression. He's also standing way too close and looks to be within grabbing distance. When he looks over at them again, they try to play it cool by jumping up and down in fake excitement and acting like they don't even notice him. In reality, they are literally too scared to make eye contact with him, and they're turning to Jake for help. Yeah, he's staring at us. He's staring at us. Okay, 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 hold on. Wait, do you know that guy? Get that guy on camera. Jake hangs around for another few minutes until the man wanders off. The girls hug each other out of relief and quickly dart the other way. I really hope this man had second thoughts about whatever he was going to do, but something tells me he wandered off to find an easier target. This kind of video really shouldn't exist anywhere in this day and age, but sadly people like this creeper are still out doing weirdly bizarre things like this. Kudos to Jake for stepping in and putting a stop to it here. A paranormal investigator named Jeff Stetix World walks into an abandoned house through a door that was kicked open long ago. An old woman once lived here, and all of her possessions are still inside, mostly various clothing items and trinkets, and quite a few photos. He is looking at two black and white pictures of a boy, perhaps a grandchild or a son, when he hears a faint sound coming from further down the hall. He detects nothing with his untrained eye, but as his camera adjusts to the darkness, it does pick up a small outline pressed up against the wall, perhaps the very same boy in the pictures he was just observing. All of this escapes him as he calmly exits, completely unaware of the boy cloaked darkness just one room away. You may remember this story from one of my previous videos, where Steve Ronan and his group of friends found a lost girl in a deep underground cave. One of the people with him was fellow YouTuber Exploring with Josh, and we can analyze his footage of the event for more clarity on what happened. The group stumbled upon this scared girl while exploring the cave, and they reunite her with her parents. What remains unclear is how this girl managed to wander so deep into the cave with no flashlight or supplies. We were so curious to know what was <laughs> through this tunnel. This is crazy. It's okay. It's all right. This is the way back. <laughs> Numerous news agencies have now covered the story, with none being able to offer an explanation. Nevertheless, she was clearly lost, and if it wasn't for these YouTubers saving the day, she may have never made it out of that cave. Web Driver Torso is one of the few YouTube channels that continues to stay creepy even after being supposedly debunked. A number of years ago, this channel was discovered uploading videos that were all rectangles and frequencies. The videos are somewhat mesmerizing to watch and many people claim they will lure you into a strange state of mind over time. Google has since come forth with an official explanation that this channel is used only to test video quality, but this is a really vague explanation and plenty of people are convinced that this is a cover-up story for something more sinister. Meanwhile, the videos have only gotten longer and are now up to 25 minutes and one second in length. Also one day in 2013, WebDriver Torso uploaded this strange video seemingly for no reason at all, further adding to the mystery. As to exactly what this means, your guess is as good as mine. This channel could be anything from a video quality testing site like Google says, to a mind control experiment or even an AI program gone rogue. Also, if you can explain this channel's rather cryptic name to me, I'd definitely like to hear your best guess, though I really doubt anyone can. Who is standing on the side of this road? While well, driving at night, Paranoiacs captured this obscure figure standing there in the darkness. When they back up a moment later, the figure is gone.
Where did she go? I think it's probably for the best that she disappeared. This is one hitchhiker you really shouldn't pick up. This footage was taken in 2011. A man is wandering the woods in Pennsylvania when his flashlight chances upon one of the most popular humanoids of all time. The Sasquatch is devoid of pigment and doesn't put up much of a fight, instead taking off as soon as the flashlight beam hits its face. Notice not only how fast it runs, but also how silently it moves. Somehow it was able to watch the cameraman from less than 10 feet away and get away with hardly any noise. Peel your eyes back for this one. Published by Kisa Weba in January of 2022, this scary video has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video was shared with Kisa Weba by a subscriber who who said he'd found the footage on Reddit. The original poster claimed to have crossed paths with this mud monster on the way home one day. The footage shows a creepy female mud-like creature sitting in the middle of a dirt road. The mysterious creature has long arms with a peculiar appendage where the hand should be. The hand features long, gumby-like fingers that appear to contract as the cameraman walks toward her. The figure's back is also strangely indented. It looks as if parts of the figure are blurred out for discretion, but as the cameraman walks toward her, the other hand reaches over, revealing the same elongated fingers as the first. There also appears to be a trail several feet down the road, dragged by the figure but it ends as if the creature dropped to the earth there from the middle of nowhere. What is this mud monster? And what exactly is she doing here? I guess we'll never know for sure. This ghost doesn't want to be hunted. Published by Turkish channel HD Adam in November of 2021, the team is here to investigate the case of Jean Hoka. As they case the joint, they find dozens of nails strewn on the floor. Is there a meaning behind this? They're looking down another hallway and something hits at a curtain in the window. When the cameraman runs over to look out of it, you can see this window is on an upper floor and there's no one around. <laughs> In another room, they find a glass, again with nails inside. The team wants to know what this means and asks viewers to share. Do you have any ideas? It might be the next step in solving this mystery. Siblings sing happy birthday to the camera for someone who lives far away. When they finish, one of them says something at 19 seconds that sounds like she might say mama. I don't know what she said, but mentioning her mother drops the mirror straight to the floor. And look, a pale apparition caught on camera in the reflection of the mirror before it happens. This video is probably edited, but if not, it looks like a paranormal entity has a problem with this family, or at least the mom. There's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself, what can go wrong? Apparently a lot. और दूर पहाड़ हैं आबादी से बहुत दूर हूं मैं ये क्या हो रहा है स्टार्ट में ही ये अल्लाह खैर a sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him. Spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. और जो चीज भी ये देखिए अब ये देखिए that's really weird, but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance, like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person. Hmm. 
Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. It's not the wind. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. Some property owners just can't let go. Posted by Sour Sweet Gone to the Ghosts subreddit, the previous owner of this restaurant makes his jealousy known. The security footage shows some employees behind the counter at the restaurant, preparing some paperwork. No customers are present, and that's probably a good thing. Suddenly, a framed picture on the wall falls straight down onto the one below it and flips over onto the floor. One of the workers literally throws his hands into the air while the other jumps, covering her mouth in astonishment. According to the Redditor, the picture that fell was an award for the new owner's restaurant. Is the previous owner sore about their success? Some of the comments suggest the nail or wall fastening fell out or broke, but the Redditor has an answer for that and says the nail was still in the wall and the way it was hung made falling on its own seem unlikely. So what do you think? Broken nail or jealous ghost? I think that's a pretty fair explanation about the nail, so I'm definitely leaning on the side of the paranormal. It's a shark, it's a duck, it's neither of those things at all. In September of 2017, YouTuber Jack Heath posted this video of an unidentified creature swimming in a river. He asks his audience to weigh in, saying his friends couldn't decide if it is a shark or a duck. The short clip shows a dark river at night, lights reflecting off the water. For a good 20 seconds, you can't see anything at all, although you can hear voices speculating on whether something unseen is a shark or a duck. That is, until this spooky ghost white creature nearly surfaces at the edge of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like a shark or a duck at all. As YouTuber Tweedle notes in the comments, his friends were obviously talking about what caused the wake in the water earlier in the clip, not this unidentified monster that briefly appears up close towards the end. Is a plesiosaurus or something like that? He writes, Though they're originally from a time period of many millions of years ago, so are alligators. They're thought to be extinct, but maybe they're not. After all, they wouldn't be the first creature thought to be extinct that's found to be still alive. While this might seem like a good guess, the OP mentions in the comments that the ghastly creature was just an eerily convincing art installation. Whoever thought art could make your heart stop? A YouTuber named Ziggy09 wasn't sure if the spirit world was real or not until he got a visit from one of them. So I bet you were focused on the figure outside the window, that you didn't notice this curtain moving by itself, while the opposite one stays as still as can be. Something must already be in the home. Ziggy turns on the lights to reveal an all-white figure wave its hand, the curtain closest to it fluttering all the while, followed by a weird humming noise. Ziggy claims to have seen nothing in the window at this time, but his eerie suspicions of being watched at night were confirmed upon reviewing this video. To further add to the mystery, his last update was over seven years ago, so either he forgot about this channel, or whatever's in this video grew much bolder. YouTuber Riot was putting his dogs to bed when he noticed his truck's alarm lights were blinking. The dogs also seemed upset by something. That's when he checked his ring camera, only to find this. A 
A strange blue object is floating across the yard. The YouTuber says he didn't see it with his own eyes. It then disappears behind a tree. Well, I wanted to dismiss this as a spider web at the beginning. It's harder to dismiss when it seems to move away and disappear like this. So what do you think? A spider web or something more cryptic? I think it's too close to call. There seems to be many surprises for new renters or homeowners in these clips. YouTuber Dempsey7 also recently moved into this apartment. He said he rented the place without viewing it because it looked nice and the rent was low. But when he got there, he realized why it was so cheap. There are really high ceilings like a 19th century monastery in the middle of England, he said. He then takes viewers on a tour through the apartment. There are mirrors all over. All of this is nothing compared to what he found just outside the bathroom. Carved into the floorboards, you can clearly see a hatch in the floor, kitted out with a handle. Dempsey7 says he figured it was a bit of underground storage. He lifts the lid up and it does appear to be a storage space, that is until you look beyond the surface and see that the space expands below pretty deeply. Dempsey7 guides viewers down stone stairs that lead into what he calls a dungeon. There is a corridor heading off ahead, lots of stones and discarded brick and wiring. There is a room to the right, directly below Dempsey7's apartment. On the wall is graffiti that reads, CCFC OK, judging from the flooring. Dempsey7 believes it used to be a burial ground. He heads down the corridor. Most of the dungeon is piled with rubbish, dirt and old brick. He finds a newspaper dating back to 1984. He finds what looks like an old front door. Did someone used to live here? Or perhaps the house was built over an older existing foundation? Whatever the case, a dungeon is one secret room I wouldn't want to find in my new home. Unless you're touring abandoned asylums or reputably haunted sites, you probably wouldn't expect to capture anything mysterious on camera, but this individual did just that. This video has been making the rounds all over the internet and we tracked it down to its original source. Published to YouTube in January of 2019, JJPD Productiones writes, Mr. Luis Reyes was traveling to Nicaragua for the first time. He went on a tour of tourist areas of the country. Specifically to the Tiscapa viewpoint, he recorded the landscape, but did not expect to capture what you will see next. What you see looks like a giant crab, insect, or alien-like creature, maybe all three combined. The creature is standing on a rooftop, then it walks to the edge and jumps over to a courtyard, out of sight. While many congratulate the uploader on the special effects, some are willing to suspend their disbelief. But upon further investigation, it appears this channel specializes in special effects. So my explanation for this video is that while it's quite scary, it's most likely CGI. This man is panicking, and he has reason to. Published by Hayalet Video Lari in November of 2013, the creepy footage he captured will have you on edge. Though there is no context to this clip, the man is in a room alone and he's very much afraid. Guys, this is the area where I've seen a spirit roaming freely. What of? We're not sure yet until. Hey. Are you there? Are you there inside? Oh my god! Oh my god! After freaking out some more, the man wheels around the frosted window panel and there's no one behind it. To whom does this hand belong? I'd wager the invisible man. 
Do You Believe Our Loved Ones Never Leave Us? Published by Seth Ponder in April of 2014. The spirit of a grandma wants a cookie. Ponder writes, Sarah was making Lois's cookies for cousin Jenny while listening to the Rat Pack. Lois's favorite, when the lights flashed many times. Lois is, I presume, Sarah's grandma who passed away. The security camera captures the activity as Sarah nonchalantly acknowledges the lights are doing it again. The couple thinks she is trying to communicate with them through the lights. Is grandma working in mysterious ways or does this house have an electrical issue? Honestly, the first option is way better. Sparks fly out of the wall at an internet cafe and send everyone into a total panic. At first, it looks like they are trapped in the far corner. At 41 seconds, you can see it's coming from the damaged circuit panel, so there's no way to turn off the power. You can see that they are fortunately outside, but probably not standing as far back as they should be. If you speak this language, tell me what they are saying. I hope he's telling the crowd to back up before someone gets zapped. A family in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania sees something that is so incredible that they have to stop what they are doing and start recording. There's another spark. You see what else there? Who is that? Tree? No. Right there. See? Uh huh. Strange, shimmering spots appear out of nowhere and seem to float above the meadow and nearby forest floor. For a moment, they think that it could be other people. But whatever they are seeing is floating around everywhere, even in the trees. Many people who watch this video think that these are ghostly soldiers from the Civil War marching in single file lines, just like they did on the day of their demise. Others think that this could be flashlights from hikers, though this really doesn't look like a flashlight to me. I would definitely like to hear what you think is causing this scenario. After buying a cool LED hat for his daughter, this father took a short video to capture its glow, but he also managed to capture something mysterious in the background. Shared to TikTok by TikTok Paranormal. Watch the back hall behind the baby. A small, dark, shadowy creature makes a mad dash past the doorway. What is this thing? It doesn't look human, and yet it doesn't look animal either. It appears to be running in a human-like way, so my best guess would be a goblin or elf of some kind. What do you think is going on here? This urban exploration video comes to you from Thailand, and the title of this video roughly translates into English as, Abandoned House in the Middle of the Forest No One Dared to Explore. This modest looking home holds some strange and bizarre things that are worth taking a closer look at. Secrets I doubt we can explain. He stumbles upon an oversized shoe print. Translate his observations if you can. In the next room are two equally old footprints, even bigger and wider now. The same person has apparently removed their shoes to walk barefoot for some reason across this disgusting floor. It's like they grew out of their shoes or something. Almost like a bizarre transformation took place. Some people are saying that this is an unfinished house, while others say this looks like a crematorium. I don't know why either one would be in the middle of the forest, but I do know this is a creepy situation that I hope we can piece together and better explain. This live recording was shot somewhere in the country of Turkey. The news report itself starts out normally enough until a bystander notices an object in the distance and points it out to the rest. A group soon gathers around to gawk at what appears to be a large amount of UFOs in the sky. 
The fact that the video ends before anything else happens makes me think that it could be fake or maybe an electronic disturbance jammed the cameras. If anyone in Turkey knows more about this video, please let me know. A YouTuber named Hello Ryan Holmes lives in a house that you and I want no part of. Scary noises have become part of a daily ritual stemming from paranormal activity, or so he suspects. So when it happens again, Ryan grabs a camera to see if he can catch a ghost on video. Did you just did you just hear that? I definitely just heard somebody run up the stairs. Ryan thinks he hears creeping noises of a ghost running up the stairs. Ghost or not, he is definitely not alone. Camera in hand, Ryan gets no further than the kitchen before he realizes. What the f All of the cabinets have mysteriously opened on their own, and when he goes to close them. Why the f is everything open? What the f What the f He turns around only to find that the ghost has moved every object in his kitchen back to where it was. It looks normal at first, but I think there is an editing cut here at two minutes when he briefly zooms into the cabinet for no reason at all. He could have stopped recording, moved all of the objects, and then started recording again to make it seem like it was all done in one take. This reportedly leaked video appears to be taken in a desert somewhere on the outskirts of civilization. Two scientists in full biohazard gear examine a colossal footprint that's been left behind by what appears to be some type of giant creature. I think this video is likely not real because there appears to only be one footprint and no others nearby. If there was a series of footprints stretching beyond the horizon, I would be more inclined to believe it's real, otherwise they could have easily dug a hole in the shape of a monstrous footprint. A YouTuber named Suspect Sky and his wife are convinced that something is waiting for them. Inside of their small closet, Suspect Sky slowly walks up to the closet and flings the door open, prepared for conflict only to find nothing inside. They are relieved for just a moment and then decide to get out of the house anyway. Something is still in there waiting for them. They think they can feel its presence and just want to leave as fast as they can. And when they looked at the video again later, they found out they were absolutely correct. YouTuber Memoria Sobre Natural INC believes they were guided to this location by something paranormal. And maybe that's true, but it doesn't seem to want to let them in. At first, it seems like something might just be pushed up against the door blocking it, but then you see movement. Watch the crack in the doorway. Whatever's inside doesn't seem human. Cara, você é louco? Eu juro que eu achei que eu tinha visto um demônio aqui agora, a hora que eu fui abrir a porta. Cara, meu coração foi a mil aqui, ó. Bom, pessoal, eu acho que... Phew, it's just a ball. Or is it? I think this horned beast is more demon than it appears. A woman by the name of Cecilia Carasso in Chile strode past the reception desk at a law office in 2015 when she was attacked by something invisible. As you watch the CCTV video, Cecilia is strolling with a young woman towards the reception desk when she reportedly felt something push her with such force that it caused her to fall backwards hard. You can see Cecilia chatting with the woman and gesturing at something when suddenly, out of nowhere, she falls flat on her back. She doesn't just slip, she absolutely appears as though she was pushed. I wasn't aware of anyone in front of me as I passed the reception desk talking to a girl and as I looked up towards the receptionist, 
I suddenly felt two pairs of hands shove me over, Cecilia said. She later added, I hit the floor, and when I looked up, I couldn't see anybody, and I thought they must have run off. When Cecilia asked the receptionist who had pushed her, she was told that nobody had. Cecilia didn't believe the receptionist until she was shown footage of the incident. After seeing it, she was sure that she had been the victim of a ghost attack since there was absolutely nobody around her. Cecilia's doctors reported that her injuries were consistent with a fall, but that she'd also received a large blow to the head, which may have caused confusion about what she felt and about her injuries, but that doesn't explain what happened in this creepy CCTV footage. Two friends returned to a spot in the woods where they think someone could be living. Yesterday, they were playing tag in the small clearing, and it looks like somebody was close to them the entire time. A trail of random trash leads them to a morbid discovery that they now truly regret seeing. Dude, the hand is messed up, dude! Nailed to the tree is an old doll with black and purple clothes and white hair over its face, which you never get to see. Still, the doll gives off such a strange feeling that they refuse to touch it with their bare hands, probing it with a stick instead. One of them hangs back, but the other needs to see what's under the long white hair. He pushes the filthy doll hair aside. The doll's face fills him with regret, and he is too stunned to worry about the camera, but his reaction really says it all. Oh my f God. Later, he says that the doll's face was completely burnt, aside from driving a nail through its middle. The doll's fingers look to have either been chopped or chewed off one by one as well. Whether this was a group of kids or a traveling wanderer, whoever rips apart dolls for fun is definitely not the type of person you want roaming around a minute from your backyard. And on top of that, I'm not even sure if this doll is safe to show, because it could very well have been cursed. Jack Cook's son Michael has been acting strange for days, not like himself at all. He is normally a happy child, but he is visibly agitated during his birthday and seems to channel all of his anger into a single act of defiance when it comes time to blow out the candles. Day to you. Michael, make a wish. Cheer up, big guy. Cheer up. His father can't believe what he just witnessed and orders his son to do it again. Sure enough, Michael somehow is controlling the flames with his mind. The obvious answer is somebody is blowing out the candles off camera, but I don't hear anything. Watch the father's explanation and tell me if you think his emotions are real or simply good acting skills. It's been a week now since Michael went into the hospital and <laughs> doctors don't know what's wrong with him. Him and two of his friends are going to explore a house that is legendarily haunted. According to local lore, this is a place where devil-worshipping members used to perform rituals, and the surrounding area has never been the same since. Beyond this information, all they know is that its general location is somewhere deep in the woods. They follow a trail and eventually come across a large abandoned house in the middle of the night. The three of them all get a strange feeling. And instantly know that they are in the right spot. The door is open and they bravely march inside. Beyond a room filled with strange scrawlings, they find a dark room that stinks like something rotting. Dolls are hanging by their necks. Just when they are about to leave, they suddenly are approached by something that comes up from behind. Jesus. A strange and unsettling gurgling noise follows them as they run out of the house and into the open night air. Whether this was scripted or legitimate is anyone's guess, only they know for sure, but even still, they may be too shaken to talk about it. There's no more haunted a place than a 20th century lockup. Published to YouTube by Heather Hauntings in March of 2020, Heather and her man are staying in a cell where inmates have allegedly passed away. The result? Major paranormal activity as evidenced in these two videos. 
Last used in 1984, the jailhouse was once the scene of at least one life taking and another person locked up took their own life. Of course, with such a twisted history, many believe former inmates now haunt its grounds. Paranormal investigators have heard caustic sounds, footsteps, and voices. Even the historian believes the place is haunted. Bullard told the Jasper News, Let's just say I went to the front door and left quickly. I heard something. I saw something that moved like a shadow, and I didn't stick around. Here all night. <laughs> It seems enough of a warning for these paranormal investigators to know they're about to experience something truly chilling. In one video, they explore, talking to the spirits via the spirit box, meanwhile hearing strange noises throughout the building. At one point, when they black out the room, loads of EVPs can be heard on the spirit box. In the second video, as they're staying overnight in the cell, they attempt to communicate with the spirits again. After asking if another inmate took the life of the spirit, they hear a distinctive yes twice on the EVP. Yes. At around 14 minutes 30 seconds into the video, they start to hear the lightest of footsteps. They attempt to catch some shut-eye in the cell in around 3 a.m., the witching hour. Something bangs loudly, awakening them. Around the same time they heard this noise, Greg says he felt something touch his leg. Needless to say, they couldn't go back to sleep in the cell. Could you? I certainly wouldn't. Take a look at this quick clip of another possible shadow person in someone's basement and tell me if you think it's real. If you think it's computer effects, then please tell me exactly what clued you in. I personally see valid arguments on both sides. If you've ever had something in your home act out of character, then you might feel Alex Huff's pain. The TikToker appears to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial when her wardrobe starts to creak open. I use the Milani 05 Soleil. So I'm gonna try that on. And. Um, and then suddenly slams shut and bursts open again. The room's light above goes out, and then, as she's peering into the wardrobe, that light falls dim as well. Alex posted a second video showing that no one is inside or outside the wardrobe and yet it's creaking again. In the third video, she's getting her room sage to get rid of whatever evil entity lies within. Burning sage is said to provide a spiritual cleansing for the home. Hopefully it did rid of the bad energy and Alex can go back to doing her makeup tutorials in peace. Based on the events happening here though, I wouldn't be surprised if that house is legitimately haunted. According to YouTuber 01 Supernatural Studio, a gambler lived in this place. He lost all the land in a bet and then chose to take his own life. Let's see if his presence remains. The ghost hunter quickly gets a reading. Blue. Inside his meter spikes. The spike occurs right next to a mirror. Could this be a portal into another world? As he continues his search, he hears a voice. Here it is again with the infrared on.
He asks the spirit to touch a paranormal device. It seems to me that the spirit is here, but what the spirit's intentions are remains a mystery. What is this creature? Please, writes a YouTuber named Terriana, to which I have but one question in return. Why are you still in front of it? I would have been long gone. Seriously though, it looks like some kind of toxic caterpillar, except here's the thing. This video was caught on camera on a boat while out at sea. I think we can all agree that the creature is covered in fur, something I've never seen on any deep sea creature caught on tape before, and it's really bizarre. This video was posted in 2007 and I couldn't find anything else like it, so I'm not sure what this mysterious deep sea creature is. I think it's laying on its side and normally crawls along the lighter colored bottom portion. Hopefully those long protrusions up and down its body are hairs and not sharp quills. If you're like me, there's one thing apart from sharks that you were scared of when swimming in any pool as a child, the pool drain. As it turns out, we weren't worrying in vain. The 18-year-old lifeguard in this video is trapped by the pool drain and held under to the point of becoming unconscious. How did this happen? The lifeguard dove into the water to retrieve a kid's goggles that were dropped at the bottom of the pool, and when he reached his arm into the pool drain, it reached back. He couldn't get his arm out of the drain. Pulling and tugging, he was quickly losing air and probably hyperventilating, making him lose it even faster. When the other lifeguards finally realized that their friend hadn't come up yet, and in fact was motionless at the bottom of the pool, they jumped into action. One of the lifeguards cleared the pool, while the other dove in to save his colleague. He tugged and tugged, trying to get the arm to release, but it wasn't moving. The rescuer swam to the surface and told the other lifeguard to call 911. He then tried again to release his colleague from the drain, to no avail. When he came up for air again, someone said to turn off the pumps. The drain was acting like a suction cup on its victim. Pulling mercilessly and not letting go, a single lifeguard's power is no match for this vacuum. So that's what he did. He turned off the whole system, but he was still unable to free his colleague, as the pump was somehow still in force. When a paramedic arrived, he dove in, and they were at last able to free the lifeguard. The guy was underwater for about six or seven minutes, but after performing CPR, they got a spontaneous pulse. They transported the lifeguard by helicopter. Where he began seizing, his brain was swelling, but medication was administered, and he fell into a coma. There were no signs of brain damage when he regained consciousness. While this footage is a rescue 911 reenactment of what actually happened, and a dated one at that, it is scary and reminds us that there's no doubt that pool drains can be dangerous. They can even kill. A paranormal investigator from India named Deep Tea Vlog and her ghost hunting crew go exploring what, in their words, is one of the most haunted places in all of Madhya Pradesh. It's a long trek through some scary woods just to get there, and they are also quite sure some creepy things will be caught on camera before the night is through. Oh, sh Boy, how are sh oh, sh in the distance, they see a figure walking slowly off the beaten path, and then it just sort of mysteriously disappears into the darkness. All of them run much faster than the figure was moving, but when they get to where they had just had the ghost sighting, they find an empty clearing and nothing more. On March 17, 2021, members of Muso del Horror traveled to a derelict building in an unknown city in Mexico, live streaming the entire adventure. Just after beginning their investigation, the group ventures to the side of the building. As they come to some stairs on the side, a faint growl can can be heard on the audio. None of the participants noticed it during filming, but viewers were quick to point it out in the comments. It sounds either like a growl or an attempt to whisper something, but it is difficult to determine what. From here, they enter the building, which is hollowed out and falling apart. Nothing of note happens until just after the 40-minute mark of the stream. A high-pitched noise can be heard almost 
almost like a screech or another hiss, albeit longer than the previous one heard. It's also possible that this was the sound of something rubbing against another object, similar to metal rubbing against metal. The last speculation is it could be someone breathing in, possibly one of the explorers, although nobody else seems to be around except Alfondo holding the camera, and he starts speaking before the sound goes away. Si está bien la distancia, todo está bien. The team decides to conduct a Ouija board session, which is not recommended for amateur explorers, by the way, to see if they can get any activity. Not long after starting, a very faint voice can be heard on the audio. Hay alguien aquí? Oh, escucha. It sounds as if there are words in there, but it is almost impossible to make out. The voice can be heard speaking, over questions being asked, could someone be trying to communicate? Soon they get an answer of yes on the board after being asked a question, and the board remains active for some time. When asked if it is a man, it responds no. Throughout the session, dogs can be heard barking wildly in the background. The dogs were rather quiet prior to starting the Ouija board, and now they are nearly frantic. Animals are known to be sensitive of the paranormal. Could they be distressed at what the team is doing? Or is there another explanation? In the midst of the session, by far the most bizarre event happens. Alfondo's attention is called away to a strange light manifesting on the opposite side of the building from where they are. In the opposite corner, it appears as if a flame has been lit, flickering. Suspicious others might be in the building. They call out and make their way to the area. One of the team Team members shows a few photos she took, and along with the glow of a fire, the windows make it appear to be daylight outside. However, the video camera always showed the windows to be dark. Furthermore, the photo camera was not using a flash, meaning it could not be a reflection. What could this mean? They decide to do a spirit box session, and instantly, the sounds the box makes sound straight out of a horror movie itself. While it is most likely caused by the rapid switching through radio frequencies, we have never heard another session sound as terrifying as this. Alfondo walks with the device to the other end of the building, and throughout hears some disturbing sounds. First, what sounds like someone wailing in distress. The most disturbing capture of the night is what sounds like a child crying out in fear or pain. It's hard to imagine what could have happened at the location, as it appears some manner of horrors still reside there, endlessly crying out in the afterlife. This is one of the world's most haunted hotels. It was a naval hospital during the 40s and once housed a morgue. Some of its most infamous guests never left. Published by Kelsey Davies in January of 2022, this paranormal investigator and her mom visited the haunted hotel. This is what they found. Kelsey first hears a child's voice as she's wandering the empty hall. I keep They continue to explore and hear more unexplained noises. Alex, 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 Alex. After setting up a paranormal device, it starts to go off. They use copper dousing rods to ask the spirits questions. They discover that one is named Lorraine. A short while later, Kelsey asks the young girl she's speaking with to trigger the device, and she does. The device go off? Oh my god! 
good. They then enter a creepy hallway, and using a Connect app on the phone, they see a figure standing there. Later, she says she saw a man standing by the door out of the corner of her eye, one that she's seen before in the hotel. If you communicate with anyone, no negative entities, please. Oh my god, I just saw a man. There's a man down here. I think it's the same one. And then the nearby paranormal device goes off. Is this ghost getting nearer? Here's hoping this spirit isn't stalking her. This strange deer keeps repeatedly wandering into the yard of a YouTuber named Free Tickies. It seems to be without a herd, so at first Free Tiki suspects that it could be someone's pet, which is not all that uncommon of an occurrence where he lives in Kentucky. After a minute or so, it becomes evident that this deer is sick with something quite serious. Watch here and you'll see how the deer looks disoriented enough to walk up to another neighbor's house. I have little doubt that it would have wandered straight through the front door if it was open potentially contaminating the entire inside. The YouTuber says that he called the local wildlife authorities and reported the deer shortly after recording this two minute video. I think he keeps a respectful distance for the most part and appears to be safe from any potential contamination. As for the deer, it sadly had to be put down by government officials after it kept walking onto the nearby Route 8 highway. A YouTuber named Jordan Bew is about to get some food with his brother Jeremy and some friends when he sees a tiny lizard hanging out by the pool. He doesn't want to hurt the little guy so he takes it outside and goes to set it free, but it winds up taking a wrong turn. Go get him. Get him, bud. Oh, he's in your hair! No! <laughs> oh, he's on your head! Oh. He's, he's nuts. Jordan's friend goes for the close-up, but accidentally scares it towards the safety of his hair. Only its tail is sticking out and then it's fully gone. They give it some time and let it resurface. It may have changed to the same color as his hair, and you can barely see it at this point. Finally, they scoop it out and set it free, but the lizard almost doubles back for another round and jumps on one of their shoes. Fortunately, it is not a repeat performance, and they are able to shoo it away. When Brian Schultz entered the forest in September of 2015, he probably wasn't expecting to be spooked by something that was perhaps paranormal. In his video description, he writes, Camping trip on September 6, 2015. I was alone and seen strange lights moving from tree to tree of different sizes and colors. I was doing a live periscope at the time, so the video isn't the best quality. In the video, he was reading his live viewers' comments and responding. After the event occurred, he called into Art Bell's show, Midnight in the Desert, and talked on air about what had occurred. You can see a flash of light between the trees, with Brian's flashlight directed towards it. The flash looks like a spark of light. When he turns his flashlight off, the light is broad and bright. Whatever the light is, keeps flashing in the trees, low, high, everywhere. At times, it appears like a flashlight. Other times, Brian suspects it's a UFO. Others in the comments said they've had similar experiences before with no explanation. Many commenters say at 2 minutes 36 seconds in the video, there is something or someone seen moving behind him. But this light keeps flashing up in the trees, different areas. Um, it's really weird and I don't know how to describe it because it keeps flashing in different areas of the trees. If we slow down the footage, you can definitely see something move. Do you have an explanation? This paranormal activity couldn't be clearer. Published by Paranormal Mai in January of 2022, the paranormal investigator is speaking to the djinn that haunts this home. Niyetim sizi rahatsız etmek diye bir şey yok. Sizler bizleri rahatsız ediyorsunuz. As he speaks, the door slowly swings closed and then slams shut. An EVP captures a phrase that means, Shut up, we are at your home. <laughs> Who exactly is here? I don't want to stick around to find out. Many claim to see a hidden monster in this YouTube video from Australia. Look closely and you'll see what appears to be the top half of a tall furry creature standing among the trees. Some people even claim to see a second similar creature in the bottom right hand corner. Well, I do see what they are talking about. This also looks like it could just be the blackened center of a rotten tree, but I'm just not sure. 
Let me know what you think this is, and if you believe there is any possibility of this being the legendary Australian Bigfoot. The homunculus is rumored to be an artificial type of creature that was first discovered sometime during the medieval ages by the way of alchemy. The recipe for this legend has since been lost, but some YouTubers have claimed to have rediscovered a way after doing some tinkering in their kitchen. The process used to create a homunculus is kind of gross. You can look it up if you want, but all I will say is that it involves fertilizing a chicken egg using a syringe. Next, you seal the egg off in a plastic container and keep it warm by wrapping it up in a cloth. For some reason, you also have to keep the area very dark. Perhaps this has something to do with witchcraft. No one can touch or disturb the egg in the slightest. You can't even look at it. If you do, you will kill the homunculus before it can hatch. After enough time has passed, about 10 days or so, you remove the egg from its container. The egg appears to have developed some sort of infection, but this could also be some normal part of the process. The YouTuber cracks open the disgusting egg, and this is what he finds laying inside. <laughs> Но это существо, конечно же, не может обладать какой-то высокоразвитой формой интеллекта. В лучшем случае это что-то на уровне амебы. This tiny creature has no discernible features except for some long tendrils attached to a shriveled up central body. It looks like a chewed up white piece of gum, except it moves. Apparently, they are no smarter than a jellyfish. Maybe the ones from medieval times were more advanced. There's videos out there that tries to prove the homunculus experiment is fake. But then again, maybe they didn't do it right. Maybe they didn't wait long enough or else made some noise. The process is reportedly very delicate and can take at least a couple tries to master. Hey, Michael, is that you? This video, known to most only as Michael, is that you, has gone viral and spawned a ton of rumors and re-uploads. People are trying to figure out what this creature is and if it's ever been sighted before. One rumor is that the eyes look similar to a February 11th, 2013 rake sighting video taken from somebody's backyard deep in the woods. Dude, there's some glowing eyes right there. The eyes are the same color and similarly spaced apart. It also holds its head roughly at the same angle, and like the Michael is that you video, the eyes never once blink. On April 11th, 2013, there was a second rake sighting from the same person. And once again, this does look similar to three seconds into the Michael video where the creature first turns around. Although this 2013 sighting remains an unsolved mystery to this day, the same cannot be said for the Michael Is That You video. I've gotten a lot of requests to analyze this scary video, so I did some digging and here is my final analysis. While this video looks convincing, it's not real. I did some research and was able to track down the original upload to a channel called Zulu Bao Productions. I know this is the original video because it's the only upload that shows exactly how it was made in a 3D rendering program. You can see the creature itself, which isn't so scary. Once it stands up straight and loses those glowing green eyes, Once he does make the arm super long and thin, and folds it into an unnatural position in the corner of the room, do we get the creepy mysterious creature that went viral, add a detailed skin texture and we're back to horrifying. I just wanted to give credit to Zach of this channel because so many people asked me to cover this video that I knew I had to find the original source and dispel the rumors. So the next time you see this video somewhere on the internet, you'll know it was fake. This was just something Zach did for fun and practice in his own words on December 18th, 2019. He never expected it to go viral but appreciates the recognition. I think he did a very convincing job, so good of a job that it is still sparking rumors and making its rounds on the internet to this day. Up a long forest mountain path is an abandoned house near the Chinese city of Chengdu that is said to be haunted. An explorer named the Sneezing Monkey travels to the fabled house to see if anything paranormal is there. There's not much left inside, but he does find an old book that he seems particularly interested in. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds, it almost looks like it gets slapped out of his hands by a possible ghost, but he could have dropped it too. Tell me what these pages say. For some reason, he seems to feel it's interesting enough to show the camera. Not much else happens, and just when I was doubting this house was haunted, I hear this.
He's looking in some kind of fire pit or something and hears a noise. He looks up and hears it again coming from the attic. He doesn't stick around for long and wisely decides to leave. A YouTuber named G, the one and only, starts off this video immediately looking creeped out and a little bit panicked about something, but we are not yet let in on whatever his current situation is. Presumably a friend of his starts to film him as he proceeds to walk into a room which is absolutely filled with bionicle toys, which is surely any young kid's dream, but maybe this set of bionicle toys are not meant to be played with. There's nothing up here. They are claiming that a Bionicle's head moves on its own. Let's slow this footage down and see if we can see it. See, it's the tallest Bionicle figure. Oh, I, I see it now. I think it's this one right up here. Although it only happens for just a brief second, if you slow down the footage and zoom in, you can see that the tallest bionicle figure standing up actually appears to move its head slightly all by itself. Of course, it is entirely possible that this particular figure is battery powered and has a built-in feature which allows for its head to move around, but that seems like reaching for answers. Plus the uploader who owns the toy is creeped out by this, so it can't be battery powered. He says that he doesn't believe in ghosts, but is having a hard time dismissing this clip. Let this video be a warning that not even your own childhood toys are safe from being taken over by the spirit of ghosts. Chip Chen is the name given to a South Korean woman who was discovered by the website 4chan. They found her live stream one fateful day and proceeded to watch every moment of her life for years. What they found was both curious and startling. For one thing, Chip Chan would often pass out in strange positions for over 12 hours and then do things like barricade her door closed with whatever she could find. She rarely left the apartment and appeared to be in a lot of distress at all times. 4chan eventually came across her blog and found out that she thought she was being stalked by the local police. She even says that they have implanted a chip into her that allows them to control when she sleeps and how she feels. Here's a video of Chip Chan silently screaming as they supposedly activate her implants and mess with her mind. There's no evidence that any of what she is saying is real, and as of now, people either completely believe her story or else think that she has a serious mental disorder. It hasn't been on in a long time, but maybe someone can translate the text on her page and make sense of what she is saying. All in all, nobody has been able to track her down to talk with her, and her identity is unknown. All we know is that somewhere in South Korea, a woman was recording herself all of the time as a way of exposing her tormentors to the world. A YouTuber named Scaredy Cat thinks he saw a tall stranger rummaging around his property, so he goes into his house and grabs a phone to record with. He cautiously makes his way back to where he last spotted the intruder, and it isn't long before he finds him again. Actually, this time, it looks like Scaredy Cat is the one who is discovered instead of the other way around. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to try and capture it on tape now. Okay. <gasps> a humanoid creature appears to be staring directly at him while remaining completely motionless. Scaredy Cat goes running down the street screaming for his life. His reaction sounds pretty genuine, but I'm not sure if this was a real sighting or not. It almost looks like a mannequin that someone could have put out there as a joke. Maybe it could even be an impersonator, running around pretending to be the real thing. It just doesn't seem to be the right height to be Slenderman, though some legends say that the creature can change its height at will. These witches either have supernatural powers or have been practicing their parkour. Watch this video from The Paranormal Collective. <laughs> No, manches. 
After the first witch jumps, she's followed by at least one other who's waiting in the wings. Well, I'd love to imagine these witches parkouring around the city. I think this is just your run-of-the-mill dark magic. None other than Napoleon Bonaparte once lived in this mysterious abandoned mansion. Let's take a look at what he left behind. YouTuber Exploring with Josh leads the way through this dilapidated chateau. You know, normally maybe because I'm in France, I wouldn't want to come to this place because it's decayed. It might not be that good compared to everything else that's here. But man, Napoleon stayed here. That's all that matters. That's that's why. I mean, that's this is... I wonder if the little corporal slept in that bed. Josh also comes across this mysterious photograph. Look at this kid right here. Knickknacks. I think there was, uh, maybe at one point, could have been a flower right there, but don't know. The history of this place is multi-layered. I mean, this place has been inherited like multiple times through different owners and generations that who knows who was the last owner to actually stay here. But assuming by looking at the beds, they had children. <laughs> Multiple. In this room, the ceiling collapsed, making things a whole lot messier. Jeez. I have pictures of what this was without this collapse, and we're going to slip them in here throughout this video so I can show you what it was even four years ago to from now. As one of Josh's friends tries to get some deeper footage, an unwelcome creature makes an appearance. You're like Pooh Bear who's stuck in the tree for honey. Oh, the hoodie? there was a bat that just touched your butt, bro. They then managed to open the door to the safe. What is that? Did they open up the door? Yeah. Yo! Yo! Dude, yes! Okay, we're not stuck in this safe. Guys, we did not destruct any property in the making. Although they didn't find anything valuable inside, I think that perhaps there were valuables in here at one point, but they were taken. I bet you they did that to see if there's like hidden treasure that was behind it. So they did that just in case. Most likely that's what it was. Well, there's old paintings there, so these probably were, uh, were oh, really rare. This could have been Da Vinci's paintings, dude, for all you know. Seriously. Are you getting Napoleon vibes from this place? I sure am. And his energy doesn't seem so small. Discovering a hidden room in your home always begs the question, what was it used for? Posted to TikTok by Abby Maya 14 this TikToker found an entire hidden basement in her storage cupboard. While it's not unusual for a home to have some sort of crawl space beneath it, this one is particularly creepy because it looks lived in. After tearing up the floor, the homeowner discovered wooden steps leading down to a full-on basement. Not only can you stand fully upright in this hidden subterranean room, it appears as though someone once called this space home. A poster is plastered to the wall and it looks as though it's been clawed to pieces. There are benches in one corner and what appears to be a hearth. So again, this begs the question, what was this room used for? Some in the comments of the video have speculated that this might be an air raid shelter. Others say perhaps someone was squatting down there. It's probably best to climb up out of there, cover it over with a rug, and throw away the key. First, let me give a fair warning to headphone users that this next clip is kind of loud. A YouTuber named Sapphire Rose says that her toy bird has been doing really weird things as of late. Most what? of the time it plays cheerful, pre-recorded bird noises like it's supposed to, but occasionally it will sound like this. Oh my god! Why is he doing this? Sapphire Rose also says that the bird will sometimes make an even louder shriek that sounds like it came straight from the underworld, but she didn't manage to record it that day. Some people left her a comment saying that her toy simply needs new batteries, but if that were the case, then I can't help but wonder why it sometimes sounds completely normal and other times like it's completely possessed. A Russian YouTuber known as Tret shared a video online of him wandering around through a local forest equipped with a video camera. 
because the video is in Russian. I'm not entirely sure what he is saying during the video, but I'm going to assume he is saying he is filming in the forest to see if he can capture anything of interest on camera. And if that is what he's saying, then he got exactly what he wished for. <laughs> Wow. What the heck is that? It looks like a human face, but its eyes are glowing. And you can kind of see, it, it almost looks like a, a skull with glowing eyes. And what the heck it's doing down here is a question I do not have the answer to. It looks like it, it's at the bottom of a well and notices that it's being filmed and just sort of looks straight up into the camera. That is just terrifying. And in classic fashion, the cameraman runs away immediately after seeing this, which is totally understandable given the circumstances. Instead of looking like some sort of paranormal entity, I personally think that this looks like some sort of skeleton because of the shape of its head, and I can almost make out some bones. Interestingly though, this skeleton-like creature seems to have dark glowing purple eyes, which would be strange considering how skeletons are not alive. So what exactly is this creature that Tret saw? As for now, it remains a mystery. I found a YouTube channel called Phantasma House Paranormal that I think needs to get more attention because of how creepy their investigations are. Take this cemetery exploration in the UK for example. They wanted to find out if this cemetery is as haunted as people claim. So they set up paranormal tracking equipment and after a while the answer becomes an obvious yes. Their first sighting happened so fast so watch closely. Can you show me again? At 2 minutes and 4 seconds, it looks like this ghost is sitting on the roof of the church. There's absolutely nothing there that resembles an actual person so I don't think it is a glitch. And when he talks to the ghost, it appears at the door directly under the roof it was just sitting on like it jumped down to greet him. At 2 minutes and 36 seconds, the ghost walks away from the door, and 10 seconds later it's standing behind him. It wiggles around in front of him for a bit, and then sits back down like it was on the roof. When he looks at it from a different angle, it still appears to be sitting on a marker, which is creepy to think about, a ghost sitting on their own grave. Soon spirits gather all around him in objects that don't resemble a person and therefore should not be setting off his equipment, yet they do. At one point, the ghost even walks down the steps. He reaches an overgrown portion of the cemetery in the back that's eerie to explore, even in the middle of the day, and he switches on a ghost listening device. What he hears next leaves him scared. Say something now. A day. Disrespectful. Okay, so tell me what you make of that. It could be a ghost scolding him, which is terrifying. But I feel like the app could be listening to his mic and will say certain things in response. In other words, I don't know if that was really supernatural or if it was a pre-programmed response to the phrase, I dare you. Here it is again. Say something now. A day. Disrespectful. Afnan Arash is plagued by paranormal activity wherever he goes, and now not even his home offers respite from the constant hauntings. Even though we don't speak the same language, I can still feel the anger and desperation in his voice as he demands for the ghost to leave him be. <laughs> Afnan stares in disbelief at the table of broken plates. It's hard to tell if he threw a rock or something to break the plates himself or if a poltergeist did it. The right half of the table is not on camera, which makes me suspicious because that's also probably his throwing arm. 
However, he sounds so genuinely terrified that I think this video is paranormal. A YouTuber named Ola Bible lives in the middle of the forest in Oregon, far away from civilization. So when he hears noises outside of his house late at night, he curiously pokes around his backyard with a camera to find the source. It isn't long before he comes across an object that looks out of place. It looks like it could just be a rock or something, but he's memorized this area well enough to know it's foreign in nature. He zooms in. Then he says something out loud to himself and draws unwanted attention. Oh my God. <laughs> A thin humanoid creature cranes its impossibly long neck in his direction. Look closely and you'll even see a surprised expression on its face, almost as if it's been caught doing something secretive. I can't tell if it's feasting on an animal or maybe even burying something in the ground. He spins around and runs away before we get a chance to figure out what it's doing for sure. I guess the video could just be special effects but I can't tell for certain. Maybe a follow-up video taken during the day would give us more conclusive evidence. A YouTuber named Dark Corners is exploring the deep web when he comes across a video that he instantly regrets watching due to a possible curse. A nauseating noise forces him to take off his headphones, and even though it's in a different language, he still knows that he has witnessed something he was never meant to see. If you are able to read Japanese, please translate the text into English so we can all better understand. I just wanted to add that this long beep is exactly the same noise that hospital equipment makes when you flatline. Which leads me to think that this text could be talking about ending your very life. Let me know if you think my suspicions are correct, or if I was way off with this assumption. Most of us have watched videos that return to us in our sleep. Imagine a robot child with deadened eyes. Would you want to be greeted with such a smile? TechCrunch calls a Fetto the wild boy head robot of your nightmares. A comment on this video clip by YouTube user. Regna Roke AT confirms that. Thank you for bringing my absolute scariest nightmare to life. I won't be sleeping for the next few days. Once this robot grins at you, you probably won't either. The idea was to give the robot human-like emotions, and that's what these researchers did, but for some reason the result is so uncanny it gives you the chills. A video of the Afeto prototype was first posted in 2011. Back then it was even scarier than today's version. Researchers have since added facial skin and hair, but that doesn't seem to remove the deadness from the robot's eyes. In fact, it likely makes the cyberhuman seem even more bizarre. Apart from the creepiness of the robot's facial expressions, blades and spikes jut out of its body as though it's a machine meant to destroy you. The three researchers wrote of their continued progress with the robot, citing new methods to create more expressivity in the second generation model of Alfetto. These findings, the researchers claim, will allow for deeper interactions with humans due to the broader range of robot emotions. While all of this is very technical, Viewing the video clip will inspire an entirely visceral emotional reaction, and believe me, the movements of this robot child will not leave your nightmares soon. This video was supposedly caught on a home residence security system. All of the rooms look normal until this possessed stuffed animal suddenly springs to life. I thought I could see a string at first, but it's clearly a cord that's plugged into the wall. On the other hand, this doesn't really look like actual CCTV footage at all, so maybe it's just a prank. These guys were wandering through the forest when they encountered someone who at first appeared lost, but after a moment they realized something was very wrong. Hello, mate. Whoa, 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 what have you got now? After this strange encounter, the boys follow the crazy man's rubbish to its hiding place. Be cautious, Luke. The roof looks like it's about to collapse. That's not rubbish, bro. Fig lane. Hello? When they realize it's a person, and a living person at that, 
They start to unravel the bag and the mystery. Fuck. He's alive, bro. He's alive. He's alive. Where's he gone? Is he gone? Oh, what? Did he take you? What was this axe man going to do with this boy? What is that? There was someone there. There was someone there. He's back, bro. He's back. After this most recent encounter, we could probably guess Amber sees a ghost on TikTok while using a new ghost hunting tool called Reality Ripple. It's a TikTok filter that creates psychedelic colors around people in the paranormal as well. Soon colors flash when no one is there, and it looks like a ghost is in the hall with Amber and her friend. It happens for a few seconds and then it's gone, or so they think. A part of the corner remains an odd color and stays with them like a ghost is lingering nearby. <laughs> what the f was that? It's, it's you right there. It? You can see it in the corner. Oh my god. Right there. Do you see it? <laughs> Okay, we're in your piece. Okay, okay, stay here. Sometime later, Amber is by herself when a passing chill leaves her legs freezing cold. She opens TikTok and when she looks up, a wave of energy ripples through her and registers on the chair as a shadow person. It feels like my leg is ice cold right now. Like I already got up earlier because it felt like something was like ice cold laying on my legs. Not only do I see the legs, but I can see the head and maybe even a scary face too. I cannot. YouTuber Eder Hernandez and his crew are about to face off with some dark magic. As they're wandering in the darkness, they hear this witch's cries. Soy... Oh, la virga. When they come upon this structure, they hear her again. And then she appears. De que hay algo paranormal aquí, hay algo paranormal. Pero no es bueno. At first, they keep their distance. But even from a distance, it seems she's not having it. Hey, hey, no mames, fósil, ayúdalo, güey. Fósil, verga. Y yo traigo las cámaras, güey. Agarra aquí. Hey, espérate, loco. Edir, 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 Edir. They again see her in the darkness. <laughs> After which she flees into the night. Why did she take off? I think she got what she came for. At her soul, Mohammed bin Name has caught a flurry of weird things on camera that I think needs to be more closely examined to see if it's paranormal. <laughs> He chooses to investigate the slamming door in the room ahead instead of the breaking glass downstairs. It looks like a ghost is slamming the door, but look again. Approximately 29 seconds is when you can see him try to grab the door unseen, but unintentionally showing his hand in the process. He is slamming the door himself, I'm 99% sure. This video, while possibly fake, is important to show because I think it could shed light on the other ghost hunting videos like this. The camera person could be reaching out with their hand and slamming the door, but I guess we'll never know for sure. If you have a fear of heights, you might want to step away slowly from the edge of this video. El Camino do del Rey, or the King's Little Path, is a high walkway in Spain that traverses a narrow gorge in El Charro near Malaga. Originally built to allow workers at a nearby hydroelectric power plant to transport materials, 
The walkway was first constructed at the turn of the 20th century. Three feet in width and 330 feet above the river below, the walkway twists and turns around the steep walls of the gorge in a way that will make your head spin. It has been partially closed for more than 10 years after it fell into disrepair. In fact, it was once called the world's most dangerous walkway as five passings occurred. Across only two years, renovations allowed the walkway to be reopened in 2015. Going back to the original, by 2006 much of the path had deteriorated. Several sections of the original concrete had completely collapsed, leaving large open gaps only traversable by the steel beams. The handrails were pretty much non-existent, with only a safety wire in its steed. Regardless, Daredevil still walked the King's Path, and passings occurred regularly. Published in March of 2011 by AM, this video shows what it was like to walk the King's Path when it was in disrepair. The crumbling concrete stairs are guarded only by a short length of handrail. As the hiker makes his way upward, you can see the drop below is no joke. A single misplaced step can throw you hundreds of feet to your demise. Despite the risk, you can see why people put themselves in harm's way. The solitude surrounded by the glittering river below and the jagged rocks of the gorge is an experience worth having, not to mention the adrenaline rush of being a misstep away from passing on. Still, if your heart is pounding just by watching this video, I wouldn't recommend it. I certainly wouldn't do it either. A ghost hunter named Zaphod Bebley Brox is at the Hill House Manor in Gainesville, Texas. When they get activity on their equipment, the rules of communication are one blink for yes and two blinks for no, but this spirit presses no many times over when asked if it is an older man. Are you the male that just came back in here? No, it's a little girl. His partner thinks it must be one of the two children's spirits known to roam this floor, and when they ask if it wants to play, First, he uses the equipment to say no, and then he uses its actual voice. It even answers like a child, waiting until the adult says no before repeating him in a small sad voice. Are you the little girl? Would you like to play jazz? Can you say yes or no? Huh? No? Judging by how she is in no mood to play, I'd say something bad must have happened to them. Something that's keeping them trapped with no release forever. A group of British ghost hunters are walking around the Wilney graveyard in search of paranormal evidence. It's late at night when they apparently find exactly what they are looking for. Pay close attention to the area between the two tombstones or you might miss it. What the f was that? The man's flashlight passes over a tall silhouette that makes him pause. It looks like it could have simply been some shadows playing against the wall, but they light up the entire area, and there is no wall to be found. Let me know if you saw the strange shadowy figure and what you think it could have been. A person is making a video in the woods about their fort when they catch something bizarre that leaves them screaming in horror as they run away. An unknown creature charges at them on all fours. At 45 seconds, you can see its arms are as long as its legs. In other words, not proportionate to a human at all. This video, taken in Texas, looks like it could be one of the many rake sightings that have recently been popping up again across the world. Most rake sightings show the creature screeching from afar. If that is what's captured here, then this video shows how quiet it can be for the element of surprise. Fishing is supposed to be a relaxing pastime. Kick back with your pole and a cold one, and you're set for a pleasant afternoon spent out on the water. But this video, posted on Reddit by Caesar4321, reveals that fishing can sometimes take an unexpected turn. The clip shows a lucky fisherman reeling in his prize catch, a nice little fish which he pulls out onto the banks of the pond in order to remove it from the line. But as he steps closer to his catch, something pops up out of nowhere. Bet you didn't see that coming. Redditor iMusker commented, They are fishing in literal croc swamps, like they aren't asking for chomps. Asking for it or not, alligator incidents are on the rise in Florida. Moral of the story? 
Don't disturb those muddy waters, or your bones may be snapped in half by some seriously powerful jaws. The Wild Boar Hotel is located in the middle of nowhere, and the YouTube team The Ouija Brothers are traveling there to investigate. Outside, one of their camera lights immediately starts acting up. <laughs> When they break out the K2 inside, they quickly get a response. If you can hear me, can you stop and walk away from the device in the middle of the room? Fuck me, it's Max and Egg. So the song. This continues until they turn the device off. Later, they hear a light tap. So you. And then, a not-so-light one. We can call the finish if you want. Did you touch that ball then? Oh, I did not. There's something going I, did on hear, I did hear that though. I thought that was you. They ask the spirit a question, and it seems to respond. Do you like the sound of my voice? Oh. If so, can you knock? Either this old abandoned hotel is extra creaky, or there's something walking the halls here. I wouldn't want to stick around to find out which it is. YouTube team The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations is spending the night at this place at Harmon Road. I can't say exactly what went on in this building, but let's just say men would pay to be with the women who worked there. Before long, one of their REM pods goes off. Oh, yeah, so it's been a minute. Did you hear that? There's a REM pod. Did you hear it? I heard a thump. No, 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 that was me walking on this, but I heard the REM pod go off. They continue their search and meet an unwanted guest. Could you? Whoa, Ooh. no, 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 no. Did you see that, dude? I did. I was a, oh, oh no. <laughs> it's a bat. As they're trying to communicate through paranormal devices, they hear a sound in the building. Look at that, look at that. Is that you? I'm not close enough. No. And it'd still be going off if that yeah. was me. A moment later, a bang is heard. But it's not necessarily that the words are making Hurt. sense. Her. I heard that, bro. Did you hear that? And then another. Oh. I know you heard that, bro. In another hallway, they hear what sounds like talking. I heard some something. The spirit seems to want them to stay. Do you want us to stay? Whoa. Did you hear that? That was really nice. I swear to God, it sounded like something, something came right, like walked up. When they knock, the spirit knocks back. Can you make a noise like this? <gasps> Did you hear that? It was like almost immediate, yes. bro. It was like, gung gung. And then they hear this unnerving moan. <laughs> Whoa, what the? I heard a before that. Did you hear the breath before that? I know you heard that, dude. It was like... <sighs> In another room, one of their paranormal devices goes off. Can you step away? See, that wouldn't... They keep hearing these mysterious noises. What the... I heard a whistle, and yeah. then I heard something in there go like... Kum. That's exactly what I heard, was the whistle part. And their devices continue to be triggered. I forgot the. Ooh. Okay. Also got the SLS camera. Or sorry, the. I think there are too many creepy, unexplained noises in this building to suggest anything but paranormal activity. I also propose that this channel consider renaming this video to "Did You Hear That, Bro?" Did you hear that, bro? That was loud. There's a scary cemetery in this Egyptian neighborhood that is said to be haunted only on the quietest of nights. Mustafa Nabil goes exploring the haunted place at an early hour with his friends. In front of the cemetery gate stands a tall and silent figure guarding the outside. They immediately cut the paranormal exploration short and just want to go home, but the mysterious figure is not going to let them off that easily. It seems like they are blocked at every turn. 
Something looks at them from around the corner and sends them running down random streets to get away. They are out of breath and about to slow down to regroup when they see the spirit has somehow teleported ahead of them and brought back up. They have to keep moving and stay out of sight. There are many winding alleyways to go through, but they feel constantly watched and far from safe as they are relentlessly followed down every path. At 8 minutes and 24 seconds, they think they are safe and finally slow down. None of them see a supernatural figure watching them from the shadows. The video ends, but it seems their paranormal plight is far from over. A piece of the graveyard has committed itself to following them home. Next time you're in India, cruising in the UP, you might want to avoid driving in the rain. This couple was nearly consumed by an unseen pit or manhole. Thankfully, bypassers came to their aid. After the couple was pulled to safety, I'm sure there wasn't much that could be done to save the scooter. The husband was a cop and both did not walk away from the incident unscathed. I think this serves as an example to exercise extreme caution when driving through any body of water. Multiple cameras capture a UFO hovering over Jerusalem in 2011. The small moving ball of light glides over the building tops for a while and then does a dazzling aerial maneuver that no human aircraft could ever possibly replicate. <laughs> I would think this is CGI, but the same event was reportedly witnessed by numerous people who don't know each other. In this second video, you can see the ball of light is over the same domed building as the before and abruptly flies straight up. I will admit that the UFO in the first video looks a little different than the UFO in the second video, but I think the first video was recorded with a digital camera and the second was recorded with a cell phone from almost a decade ago, so that would explain the visual discrepancies. Ghost Adventures of Cornwall is the name of a paranormal investigation channel in the UK who says that out of all of the haunted places they've ever explored, this abandoned house is one of the scariest and most active of all. Mark and Haley see a lot of creepy paranormal stuff and it's all caught on live stream. At 2 minutes and 34 seconds, they see something strange that they think is a ghost. A soft light passes across another room that Mark says was not his. The light looks like it could have been from his flashlight at first, until you zoom in and see that the ghost light actually originates on its own and does not match his camera movements at all. It's not Haley's light either, because as far as I can tell, she doesn't have one. Mark says that the ghost orb returns at 6 minutes and 48 seconds, and this time you can clearly see his camera is pointed straight at the window when this ghost light goes up the wall and disappears. Look at these curtains, man. Oh, something keeps touching me kindly. I think that something was touching him because his camera malfunctions at the same time he feels a ghost nearby. Then later a small blue ghost orb is in the window and it stays in the same spot even when he turns away. And when they set up a spirit box in this area to let the ghost communicate with radio airwaves, a female voice says hello. Tell me if you hear a ghost EVP say hello because I do. <laughs> A sense of desperation lends a sharpness to her voice that makes me jump. A disembodied ghost voice sounds like she does not want to be condemned to haunting this abandoned house. The paranormal investigation must go on though, and so he is brave and keeps talking to the ghost, wanting to know more. It's a big mistake. Are you alone? Can you not? Whoa! Touch it right. Be careful, son. Time to play. Left, right. What? I said time to play, and that one. Who just said time to play? Whoa! You're playing games with me. Not. At this point, the paranormal investigation has definitely gone wrong, and judging from what the spirit box had to say, 
A supernatural presence has probably attached itself to them. Either a demonic possession or a curse. An evil spirit can make themselves sound lost and confused to gain the trust of paranormal explorers. So maybe that's what happened here. This footage was taken in 1997, a year filled with strange sightings of a mysterious beast lurking deep in the woods of Emerson, Missouri. One day, a wildlife warden finds a camera ominously laying in the middle of a nature trail. He checks the footage and is stunned by what he finds. The footage was apparently taken by a pair of hunters. The two of them are walking through the woods when an evil-looking transparent figure suddenly approaches. Do you see that? Over there, look, 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 over there. Do you see that? What the hell? Wait, 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 that, because that was it again, right there, right there. The see-through creature looks small and menacing as it glides across the forest floor without so much as a sound. They lose track of the creature for a bit and then find it again. This time, the camera zooms in for a better look. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like this. You see that? Right there. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. That's not an animal. Um, I don't like it. Okay, 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 okay fuck. The unidentifiable creature sees them and squats down in a low and aggressive posture. It lets out an inhuman shriek that sounds both high-pitched and deep at the same time. The men run deeper into the woods, terrified out of their minds as the thing presumably tracks them like prey. What happens from there is unknown. Hopefully, they make it out of the woods alive, but in the decades since, no one has ever come forward to claim the video as their own. Two things that you should never mess with. A Ouija board and the Spiro world. Posted by Big Rig Jiggin to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Big Rig claims that when he leaves this Ouija board out on the table, something strange happens. According to Big Rig, this video has been time edited due to it taking over 70 hours to get this footage. I tried to sit and watch for the movements so I could record. The only times it was happening is when I left the room and came back hours later. Big Rig leaves a Ouija board on the table with the planchette sitting at the top pointing downward. He passes his hand over the table and around the planchette, assumedly to show there are no strings attached. Then he leaves the room. The planchette sits still for a long while, but after a time, it starts moving around the board. It appears to slide all across the board, moving around of its own accord. The movement is also shown at a different angle. As you can see, the desk is thick, so magnets are likely at play here. NitroFox0 states in the comments that leaving the planchette on the board is a big no-no, and the fact that it's trying to leave the board means the spirit is trying to escape. Never really thought of that. Now this unexplainable Ouija board activity seems even creepier. According to YouTuber Gankwapi, this abandoned house has a horrific history. It's near the end of their investigation that they encounter this spirit. If you look a little closer, you can see a figure lurking in the darkness. Look to the right. Is that the old man's spirit, stranded to haunt this evil house for eternity? I suspect it just might be, although I could also see it being the life taker's demon, jailed forever in this purgatory on earth. This dashcam video shows traffic moving normally across four unobstructed lanes, when out of nowhere a woman appears in front of a black pickup truck. She keeps walking to the other side like nothing is wrong. The black pickup truck definitely hits its brakes, and the car behind them does so as well, which seems like a realistic response. Then again, there is clearly a red stoplight up ahead, so maybe they were braking for that instead. 
I don't know why this video is void of color. I'm assuming it's because black and white video would take up less space on the dashcam memory card. But it's safe to say that only a ghost would be able to do what this woman does. This is probably one of the scariest baby monitor submissions our subreddit has gotten. It was posted by a user named Shadow Panda, who found a straight up demon face in the room of her 10 month old child. The face is looking off to the side through the boards of the child's wooden crib. The face is still on her baby monitor, right up until the very moment she opens the doors and steps inside. Then it's mysteriously gone. The only thing in its place is this green kid's toy, but I don't see any way it could look like that scary face. There's a Dalmatian toy wearing a hat, but it doesn't look like the demon face either. It's not at the right angle. This thing, whatever you want to call it, was looking at her child right between the bars. Freaky, right? A YouTuber named Tubaruba claims to have obtained this video from a friend who goes to the Folk High School in Arkansas. It's late at night when a heavy cart full of cleaning equipment starts doing something all by itself that should not be possible. According to the uploader, the cart continues down the hall past three classrooms before coming to a stop and never moving again. The description of this video says the cart is too heavy to be pulled across the floor with a string, but I think it's entirely possible given the highly polished appearance of the floor. There's a good possibility that this video might be staged, but given the lack of witnesses or more video evidence than this one angle, there's just no way to know for sure. Do you hear that haunting melody? It may be the vocalizations of an actual ghost. <sighs> Posted by Charger3933 to the Ghost subreddit. This clip captures a ghostly song in the abandoned asylum, Eloise Psychiatric Hospital in Michigan, which we've discussed at length in previous Top 15s. Charger notes in the comments that he did not hear the singing during the visit, only afterwards when he listened back to the recording. The Redditor was wandering around the abandoned asylum with a friend when he heard disembodied footsteps coming up the stairs. As he tried to capture the footsteps via a Snapchat video, he heard screaming from a distance. He saved the video and later heard the haunting singing as well. Redditor Wubbelubbadubbadidu in the comments writes, Obviously, we have to take the audio with a grain of salt because it's possible someone was hidden in the building. That being said, I hear the screams and sleep freaky AF. The same Redditor later notes in the thread that the uploader basically caught an EVP. He also remarks that he too hears the footsteps or something moving nearby. The uploader states that he tried to stay as still as possible and that he would also consider this an EVP as he did not hear the singing in real time. Redditor quite fast agrees that the singing sounds like a lullaby. The Redditor tried to isolate the woman's voice and added a clearer clip to the thread. <laughs> The humming voice sounds even spookier with the audio cleared up, and it's quite fast notes. You can almost hear the words safe and sound. Do you feel safe and sound after watching this video? This video begins with a YouTuber named Hallie trembling in the corner while recording a toy car on the opposite end of the room. It's possessed, she declares in a timid voice. Eventually, she gets the courage to move across the room to record it up close. The car's lights are blinking rapidly and it's making a weird humming noise. Suddenly, it springs to life. Please shut it off. I'm not sure if this is a remote controlled car or not, but I don't think so because I don't see an antenna. Also, I think I see red buttons on the back for making sound effects, and Hallie wasn't touching any of those buttons. In fact, she was all the way across the room when it turned on by itself, so I really don't know how this could have happened. According to her, everyone else in the house was asleep. Definitely be sure to let me know what you think is happening in this video. 
Look closely and you'll see a tall figure in a black robe looking through the front door of this home. And no, it's not Halloween. It's large and yet at the same time so hard to see that it might be nothing at all. I see it though, and it stands there for a full minute without moving. What do you expect to encounter inside a morgue but the Passed Away? Published by Kay in September of 2016, this exploration of a haunted abandoned morgue turns cold. Kay and crew arrive at the morgue at night, wandering around it and find a way in. They enter through a piece of metal exterior that has been ripped off. While exploring, they come across the beds where the people are examined. Oh my god, that's the death beds. <laughs> Wait, mate. That's not from the <laughs> death beds. <laughs> They also spot a creepy message on the wall that reads, You're not supposed to be here. We will get you. In another room, dripping in red liquid, is the word beware. Why does it say beware? What the f is this? What? Beware of what? Let's see. Down a hallway, they find a mattress on the floor. Apparently, someone is calling this mortuary home. Is that a microwave here? They then come across what might be the crematorium, or maybe just where the passed on are kept waiting. Oh my god, mate, what are these doors? What is kept in there? At one point, when they've just entered another room, one of the crew turns quickly around and pushes his friends back the other way. That's when they hurry out of the morgue. He explains that what he saw in the last room was the shadow of a man on the floor. When he entered, the man got up and glass started cracking. Was it the man whose bed they saw in the hallway? Or was this a ghost that was about to cause true havoc? A YouTuber named All In One Gaming is watching television when a flash of light catches his eye. He looks out his window only to see a shady person trying to gain entry to a nearby shed. All in One Gaming is stunned by the situation for a full minute before he remembers that he has motion sensor lights. He quickly activates them and sends the intruder running. I turn on the light. Holy shit. It is not clear if this person is simply looking to take property or if they are one of his thousands of fans who somehow got his home address. If this was a stalker, then who knows what they would have done if they had gotten to him. Walking down an empty hallway can sometimes send shivers all over your body, especially when the hallway looks like this. Spurg Burglar from Washington in the US uploaded this spooky video in 2016. He says that his flat is upstairs and he makes his way through this hallway in the middle of the night six days a week. The hallway in and of itself is spooky. The sound on top of it is nothing short of ominous. The noise certainly is thumping and rhythmic like music, but it's unclear what it is or where it's coming from. It gets louder as the uploader approaches the end of the hallway and the beginning of a new one. A new sound enters into the mix, like a heart pounding. While the thumping declines, the heart pounding remains. Then you hear some sort of haunting music enter in faintly. Before it escalates, the closer he gets to the elevator. The video of the hallway also distorts a bit. Your heart races as you anticipate a jump scare from something unknown. But when he pushes the elevator button, the audio disappears. What could this possibly be? I don't know if I want to know. Home alone at night? This creeper might just be peering in the window at you. 
originally posted to YouTube by group member Ariane Childress of VBE INC's channel. This image is sure to haunt you. A woman in her home films her dark window pane as it looks like a man is staring at her. Although the features are vague, the image reflected definitely looks like a face. The woman takes a few pics as well. The lurker disappears for a moment when her camera moves, but then he's back again leering. Reddit is mixed about this image, with some saying it's seriously creepy and others theorizing it can easily be explained. Redditor Crystal Siren wonders how the woman remains so calm, writing, If I saw that, I'd have to close the curtains immediately and been unable to sleep for days. However, New Vin suggests it's pareidolia. Pareidolia is when someone incorrectly sees objects they recognize in random shapes or patterns. For instance, seeing a face in the clouds. As many note, this this looks like it's probably a reflection, being that whenever she moves, the face gets distorted or disappears. Whether it's pareidolia, a reflection, or something more nefarious, we'll never know. Real life lurker or not, you can't really blame this woman for looking over her shoulder. On February 3rd, 2020, a bizarre video was posted on Twitter showing some strange activity caused by mysterious things in the sky, weird lines like some kind of wavelengths projecting outwards. A Twitter user posted the mysterious video because he says it needs explaining. He says this is electromagnetic interference of some kind, but has no idea what it could be from. If this is a result of EMF radiation, then the source is giving off a giant amount and must be large itself in return. Tell me if you think you know what's happening here, because it's been over a year and the mysterious event he caught on video still cannot be explained. YouTubers Gankwapi are playing the Ouija board in a different form, using a glass in place of a planchette. Hey. <laughs> The glass starts moving on its own, then something screeches overhead. They think it's an owl. Shortly after, one of the group feels something behind him. Hey. And as they all start to feel that the spirit was angry, this happens. I don't think that this can be fabricated. I think this video is real, and it is terrifying. You've never heard of the rake. You're about to. YouTuber Apex TV notes that this clip was caught in a Mexican park writing. Many claim the strange creature is a legendary creature known as the Rake. Now what's the Rake, you ask? Described as humanoid-like in appearance, the legendary creature is said to go after humans and other animals for no known reason, and is cited as a possible proxy to the mysterious tall and skinny woodland lurker. According to records, the first account of a rake, in which the writer uses the creature's name, appears in a 1691 mariner's log. The next written description appears in the 1800s, charging the rake with being absolutely terrifying with hollow black eyes. After hearing of these accounts and descriptions of the forest creature, does this mysterious figure atop the playground appear to be the rake to you, or do you believe it's something else? If so, what? Corey and Devin are two YouTubers who have a shared channel where they go on all kinds of adventures as well as family vlogs. 
They haven't updated in over two years, but the videos are still there for all to see, and some of them are, believe it or not, are convincingly paranormal. The videos I'm talking about center around Nona's Pizzeria in Magna, Utah, a family business with a terrible secret, a long-standing curse first brought upon them generations ago by a vindictive small-town witch. The curse is said to have opened a portal to channel forth numerous spirits, including the incorrigible witch herself, who remains as mean and evil as ever in the afterlife. Corey and Devin are not a professional ghost hunting channel by any means, and they have little experience dealing with the paranormal aside from television. But when they get a chance to visit one of the locations, they recognize from a show called Ghost Adventures, they are eager to go, and so on October 21st, 2017, they find themselves face to face with the owners and most recent inheritors of the curse. A dark entity haunts this place, old as the building itself. Sometimes it appears to their son as a little girl who wants to play. Sometimes it grabs them by the throat. The owners say that if they try to sell the business, the spirit has confirmed that it will burn it to the ground. They are to live and suffer the curse for all generations to come, or else pay the price through financial ruin. They suspect it's coming from the attic, so the first step is to set up a grid of lasers to see if any Thing blocks the light. Sure enough, they record this black floating blob on night vision. The rest of the wooden beam is a much lighter color except for the head of the shadow figure. They go into the attic space with cameras and try to catch something up close. It's almost too dark to see anything but... I have some very creepy vibes. I can see the green lights. The camera cannot seem to keep focus, almost as if somebody is standing directly in front of Corey, though nobody is there. They're kind of going in and out. As soon as they start talking about how the demonic force always seems to congregate in this particular spot, they hear a confirmation. I'll play it with the sound up. Do you hear it? In this area here. It was a scream in my opinion, and the K2 meter goes all the way up at the mere mention of its presence. Eventually, they track the exact spot where they think it's standing, and they suspect it needs more electricity in the air to better communicate. They say they are going to give it more energy, and at this point, it seems to fully understand. You're more than welcome to take from this energy, okay? And true to their theory, when they charge the air with a taser and call it by the old family name of Cooper, they find the ghost is finally able to push the meter into the red, not once but twice. Come on, Cooper. Thank you. Thank you. Cooper family. Yes, is that who it is? Are we right? Are we right? all within 11 seconds, so I think something is standing with them and it's not real, but soon a different force sweeps across the room, possibly the witch. They use a simple yes or no communication method to determine that whoever they are talking to wishes to do them harm. Are you trying to use, are you trying to use my weakness against me? By now, the Coopers seem to have fully retreated, and the attic feels much different now, like an intruder is here. And when they break out the heavy equipment for an EVP session to determine if they are correct about this change, this single word is broadcast very clear. Evil. 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 Do you think this says evil like they claim? Because I hear it, and when they try to tell it to clarify, it has three words that I also hear quite well. Tell me if you can hear it too, or if you think something else is being said. Try to focus a little stronger and make it come out a little clearer, please. On your name. I think it's pretty clear that the curse is legit, and maybe they should make the spirit stay true to its word and leave this place for good. This home footage was taken at the end of 2016 in rural Pennsylvania. A man grows tired of the strange noises coming from his basement and decides to investigate with a camera. According to him, it always sounds like something is running up the steps at full speed, but nothing ever comes through the door when it reaches the top. The man is confident that he will be able to scare off whatever it is that's lurking below. He opens the door and goes down the steps without a weapon. All right, here we go. Hello. I know I hear you down here. I know I heard you. Holy f Oh my f Dude. I just saw. Holy f 
fuck, man. Instead of running away, he chases after the shadowy figure. The camera pans around the basement only to reveal that he is now alone. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to have someone dressed in all black and peek around a corner, so this video could be fake. Then again, this video could be genuine evidence of an actual shadow person. As for the original uploader, he says that he and his family no longer feel safe in their home. They're now looking to move someplace else. Aquatic researchers are stunned to see this massive shark pass by their cameras at a depth of 3,300 feet below sea level. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Got it. Man. I can't you got it. Can you get him on? Oh, oh whoa. Yeah. Yeah, look how thick he is. He's huge. As the giant shark circumnavigates their equipment, the researchers try to estimate its measurements based on the space between the two laser dots. Will this size fall short of an adult megalodon? Some people have pointed out that this could be a juvenile, since all scientists have to go off of is their teeth and backbone fossils. We may never know for sure. Okay, so this isn't a video per se, but it was too eerie to pass up. This was recorded around 10 years ago in a home in Philadelphia. The family kept hearing noises coming from the basement, so they decided to hire a paranormal team who placed a recorder down there and waited. Nothing happened for three days, and then, at 3.12 a.m., they recorded this. The horrible reporting continues to go on and on, seemingly forever. No video evidence was ever produced, but these possibly paranormal screams will continue to live on YouTube for years to come. Shared by YouTuber Random Videos 5, a supposed witch was captured on camera, approaching the security guard in the street late at night. Let's see it unfold. <laughs> As he nears the wailing sound, he starts reciting a prayer, and then he sees her. The witch comes toward him, wailing. To me, she appears to walk very stiffly and has an uncanny narrow form. The security guard backs away as she continues to bellow. I think this is a real witch. I've never seen or heard anything like it before. And what I really want to know is if she is cursing him. And are we cursed too by proxy? We better say sorry to this witch before we're cursed next. A mysterious creature sighted in the woods of Makanda, Illinois has residents wondering if this video is real or fake. It looks fairly convincing upon first glance, but some parts are questionable, like how this looks more like a boot than a foot when it steps out at 22 seconds. At 23 seconds, it raises its back leg up high like a person would. I think if its legs were really that big, then its footsteps would be much heavier and closer to the ground, but maybe I'm wrong. Class is in session at this abandoned school for spirits. The uploader Supernatural Search explains that this abandoned school in Recife, Brazil has become a home for spirits. He writes, several manifestations happened in this place and we're about to witness them. Their EMF meter quickly senses some energy, a surefire sign that something is here. Creepy graffiti on the wall sets the tone as they continue their exploration. When they get another read on their EMF meter, it's accompanied by an unexplained sound. The EMF meter is triggered again as they continue near this rubble pile. <laughs> Já 
They enter this empty room, and one chair sits at the head of it. They hear a faint childlike voice in the room. Are otherworldly students still attending class here? Or can these energies and strange EVPs be explained? In the very beginning of this creepy video from India, a man is riding on a motorcycle and then he's suddenly on foot. So I guess he must have broken down in the middle of nowhere and has to walk to the nearest town. After a while, he sees somebody else and is relieved to find help. But when he gets a better look, his hope does not last. The woman is wearing long white robes and holds her arms bent in a weird stance. The two do not speak and the man knows that she is not normal, so he doesn't even try. As she advances, he notices her face is abnormally gaunt and pale, the face of a zombie or someone close to their end. And the scary woman is making creepy noises too, barely human ones at that. She is not very coordinated and he keeps backing away to create more space, more amazed at this strange sighting than necessarily scared. The best look we get at her face is around 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Some say that this is a demon sighting caught on tape and she has large dark circles under her eyes like a possessed woman, though I suspect it could be special effects makeup. He slowly backs away without taking the camera off her for a minute, never letting her slip out of his sight until he presumably reaches help in the next town. A video has gone viral all throughout Indonesia because it's so scary. According to the uploader, Ari Abdul Rohim, a jinn is about to gain possession over an innocent man. An unseen force pulls his foot and then sits him up. It might be acting, but if so, he's really good. He appears to go into a meditative trance to calm himself down. It appears to work, or maybe the jinn has already moved to new prey. I will admit that this is some of the best evidence I've seen, that possessions can be transmitted just by being in the same room. I want to believe they're acting, but it's hard to fake that level of anguish and fear. So either this video is paranormal, or a demonstration of how fear is contagious. The team from YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series encounters demons in this haunted house. As one of the home's residents gives the team a tour, she expresses surprise at the silence and the spirits respond in kind. You know it's here, but it's like, it's quiet. Because usually you'll hear like a little bit banging or something like that, but there you go. The team conducts a spirit session in the house and they tell the spirit to leave. They don't want you here. Say oh my gosh. He then hears a noise which is not entirely captured by the audio. Noise. It sounds like a fing door or somebody walking on wood kind of. I don't explain it. It's the word is sound. A moment later the audio does capture this. Okay. All right. Yep. I can't do this place. Sean leaves the house and it sits empty for 10 minutes. That's when the steady cam captures this and this and also this.
What happened there? Was that paranormal activity? I think the spirits in the house are taunting the crew, just as they do the homeowners. But the real question is why? What are they here for? And what will it take for them to leave? If you saw this on the horizon, you may think some serious stuff is going down. Post it to the very spooky video subreddit by RavenTexX. The Redditor writes, Is this recent? Looks real. The footage shows a dark and stormy scene with heavy clouds on the horizon and in their midst a blinding beam of light. The light brightens and recedes more, but stays in the sky for quite some time before zapping out, leaving the night in total and utter darkness. While well, life forms outside of this planet could very well exist, some Redditors have other explanations. Greg the Chief writes, It could be a Transformer. I worked as an electrician the past few years. I never saw something that size, but electric energy has more power than most people think. Since I'm not an electrician, I wouldn't know for sure, but that sounds like a pretty rational explanation. What if we are living in a simulation? Cross posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The cross poster suggests that this is visual proof that the universe is updating now. The video footage shows a spinning wheel of light in the sky, the type you see on your computer screen when the system is buffering. The wheel is seen at a distance and then close up. The short clip offers no explanation, leaving Redditors to reach the most extreme conclusions. Maybe they're just looking to get some of that McDonald's. Are you heading out to a seaside restaurant tonight? You might want to reconsider. Published to YouTube by Ed Hat in March of 2014. They wrote, Jill Freeland, the artist and videographer, was having breakfast this morning at Moby Dick's with her family and got a little more sea salt than was on the menu. The footage shows the restaurant overlooking a stormy gray sea. While the customers await their meal, they helplessly watch as the waves take on a life of their own. They probably think they're safe inside, but boy are they wrong. The water crashes against the window and glass shatters as the spectators scream. Someone calmly says, time to go, and the customers are told to leave the restaurant, which they do without argument. It appears that no one was hurt in the incident, but they certainly saw firsthand how indifferent Mother Nature is to brunch. A man in an undisclosed city hears this noise and begins recording. He sounds like he has anxiety from hearing this noise. And then later in the video, you learn something very strange. Yet again, I can hear that uh, echoing sound, uh, that eerie sound again today. So obviously, that has been going on for some time. However, Nobody else around him seems to be upset or alarmed from the noise. Maybe this is some kind of ordinary city sound, and the uploader is pretending to be afraid as a prank. For those of you who have lived in a large city, what is this noise, and why would you hear it on and off for months on end? YouTuber Ali H lives in a house haunted by ghosts. He and his partner plan to move, but will the ghosts let them? Um. I was standing here. That was on there. Like it was, it was up in, in the cupboard there. Flew off the cupboards, opened up, and the, the box broke, and, and look who's in the box. Maybe she doesn't want him to remodel the place. As he's picking up the dolls, he finds this obscure note. Can't, um, what the? I, I, I'm, I'm gonna put these away right now. I don't have time to. Indulge them in whatever trying to. I want to know more about the note. I'm sure it's full of clues. As Ali tries to give a tour of his newly remodeled upstairs, the ghosts let him know a coat of fresh paint isn't going to solve this phantom infestation. My old office, they've turned into a child's room uh, for the showing. And uh, I have with it. I really like it. Okay, are you serious? After the knocking quiets down, Ali continues, but then, so does the knocking. The room, and then my futon takes up half the room. Ooh. 
Who is it? Ali questions the ghosts, but they only taunt him. Why do you keep knocking? Are you mad at us? Does that mean yes? After clarifying that one knock means yes and two means no, Ali gets a few more answers. Are you mad at us? He finally gets to the bottom of why the ghosts are angry with them. Are you mad at us for moving? And they really don't want these guys to leave. Oh, I was down here. What what happened? I don't know. I just walked in the kitchen. It was like this. I didn't... What the... F it seems to me like these ghosts will stop at nothing to make their point. Oh my... Okay, I'll clean it in the morning. Just leave it. Can you get Luna? And Ali and Co. better be hyper aware of their surroundings before their move out date. Do you hear that? Published by Indra Saputra Official in April of 2022, someone is singing in this abandoned building. As Indra flashes his flashlight in the room, speaking to the voice, the sing song continues for a moment, but then all is quiet. <laughs> But then, when Indra tries to open the door, he can't get out. His camera light goes out and then starts flashing. As he turns around in the empty room, it's no longer empty. The light goes off again, and Indra is singing in the dark by himself for a time. The ghost girl is gone. What frights does this place hold? A demon sing-along doesn't sound like a good idea. The CCTV was taken at an office building at around 2.30 in the morning. It was noticed immediately by security because the camera only turns on when something moves. A shadowy mass starts at floor level stops for a second, and then quickly scales up the wall, possibly continuing on to move through the ceiling itself, all while leaving no visible form of entry or making a sound. I don't know what object would have made this strange oval shadow take shape, and neither do the security guards. I think there's a strong chance that this is paranormal, but if not, leave me your best guess as to what this possibly could have been. Believe in demonic possession? This scary video might convert you. This video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community and shows an apparent possession unfolding before our very eyes. A young man is kneeling on the floor, his eyes rolled into the back of his head. The growling sounds coming from deep within him sound demonic. A couple of men stand above him, apparently trying to exercise the demon out of him, while others are gathered around. One of the men places his hand on the possessed man's forehead. That's where the video ends. Viewers are left to wonder if this man was freed of the demon within, or if he simply continues to live with this evil plaguing him. But I sincerely hope that's not the case. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.